Yeah! Don't steal my drums. Woo! I took the drums. Love just walked in through the door. Help me. Help me. Hit the high notes. Love walked in through the door. I got to tell you, the man we're about to focus on in just a second, don't put the camera on him yet. This is a buildup. He's a man. He's a force to be contended with. Uh, born in Statesboro, Georgia, if I'm correct. Grew up in Macon, Georgia. Drove a Corvette in high school. Wore tight jeans. Picked on the weak. Camaro. And high-fived the strong. All right, drove a Camaro. Then, rock. then he found... You really drove an IROC? No. Jesus. You no. were in a Corvette. I know you were. You look like Corvette. Shit a blazer, man. <laughs> Whatever. With small tires. No, it's good, old boy. And then he gets into professionals. Oh, yeah, he does. A professional baseball player because he can throw the heat. Then he plays for the Braves, and he's like real live major league. He sprints onto the mound. He wreaks havoc on the professional baseball league, I, I would say. One, one, uh, one train and then batteries thrown. Uh, darts too. Darts. Darts were thrown. <laughs> uh, and uh, wiener, wiener, wiener shown. Yeah, wieners have been shown. Yep. I've seen him naked yep. several occasions outside. Well, other wiener. They've shown me their wieners. Yeah, outside yeah. of the locker room. Only once in a hot tub. I don't talk about it. Uh, and then uh, you know the guy is all over. He's in the news. He's an actor. He's an independent actor in a movie called The Greenskeeper, and that goes. As a matter of fact, that was featured in Golf Magazine. I didn't two win. months ago. I, did, I saw. I didn't win shit for that either. No, I got you didn't. Robbed. And the directing, uh, I think it was the directing was horseshit. Yeah, maybe it was the director's issue. And then on the ticker tape on CNN, I, I see your name being featured in a golf movie that I'm in that I drug you into. And uh, then, like myself, uh, you went through a, uh, a tragedy, and I, and I will say losing your father was was probably one of the toughest things you've had to do. And then I think you took a step back after baseball and uh, your losses and everything. Wrote a book, Scars and Strikes, by one John. Rocker, otherwise known as ball game. And the Steeler. Very beloved phrase. You come on. You come on. I will tell you that you call me ball game and I call you ball game and uh, nobody else calls me ball game no, but you. I don't know where I came up with that. I don't know. Ball game one day. He just I, does I, it. I, 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 I was probably drunk. Were you? Probably had a couple. <laughs> <laughs> probably kissed your mouth, called you ball game. He did. I don't know where it came from. And there's one thing I get wherever I go. It's, uh, hey, man, what's John Rocker up to? And what he would get? I got, I got four or five of those. Literally, I think at uh, Otis's tournament. Your thoughts, D. Rickman? <laughs> yeah. Yep, you'll see him in about an hour. Yeah, uh, he's behind you me. Talk to him yourself. Yeah, you just have you just talk to him then. But no, and I, you would tell me in major league ballparks, different parks, you'd get. Oh to, yeah, yeah, I come yell, on. Yelled at in Colorado, yelled at Anaheim. I mean, not not like uh, St. Louis or Miami or somewhere close. I mean, like fucking like out west. Uh, yeah. That's flattering that somebody it really would is. Yeah, come you gotta, on. You got to follow. You have a wide gap. You have a wide berth there. That yeah, you, have. you know, a lot of people have lived in Atlanta and decided to leave, and God bless them. But uh, I will tell you, uh, it is a highlight for me and my uh, partner. This is my Ed McMahon, Mr. Brett Barney. I do what I can, even though I don't know who Ed McMahon is. He doesn't. Has no idea who Johnny really, Carson is. Really good looking guy. Very good looking oh, guy. So shit. It's a, it's a, it's a I'll compliment. Take that. Yeah. Got all the chicks. He does. Yeah. He's got the tricks. He's got questions. And then my off-camera, technically not off-mic, on-mic, uh, Tyler Maynard, our producer. How you doing, buddy? Jump in from time to time. I'm doing good. How are you, man? Tyler has got brought together collections. He likes to throw up clips, clips that we can get your take on. I used a sporting term, your take. Could I have a job where I can <laughs> drink whiskey while I'm working and get paid for the shit? And not not like a like a Fulton County school bus driver, like I mean a legit yeah. job where like, you can't get trouble for it. Yeah, yeah, there's plenty of people that do that. Yeah. There Bar are. Tender? And John, I'm glad you brought that up because right now I have two Woodford Reserve bottles. Yeah, come on. One's Kentucky. With, with, with not much left in either one of no, them. No, and I've drank them all myself. Uh, one's Kentucky Straight Malt. Hello, and the other one is Straight. All right, how rye. many how many shows is that right there? That's four shows. That's impressive. I got a problem. Four one-hour shows. That's <laughs> he impressive. goes deep. Yeah, I do. But you know, you, you get up, you get up at the, at the at the ass crack of dawn. So you got to go to bed early. So you start your boozing at one o'clock, and you passed you. out by four, and you get a good afternoon and evening's night's sleep. See, and I'm glad you get that. And the reason I drank so much last week, and you'll appreciate this, I was drunk. I had to get my wife to come pick me up. I was way intoxicated. <laughs> we we entered we, we we actually we entered a weird zone, bringing one individual in here that I never thought I'd be in a room with again. And uh, I, I had to drink. That, that's what that's what I'm going to bring up to you. Yeah. All right. What did you hear? Uh, all right. How long has your show been? Uh, you, you had your we're in our you're you're that we're now starting our fifth week. Okay. Well. John Rocker just got to say one thing that anybody that has Larry Wax on before him gets a big fuck you. 
Yeah, Larry Wax. I'm following Larry fucking Wax. That bald headed Uncle Fetcher looking motherfucker. Seriously? Horse shit. Uncle Fester. Yeah, Uncle fucking Fester. Sawed off, fat, bald fuck. I think it's bald. He's a fuck, though, and you know it. You hate him as well. You probably hate him more than I do. Yeah, but that was fucking tough. Remember the time, though, I did my fucking book promo, <laughs> and his, dumb, his fat ass got naked, and I stole his clothes and ran out of the building with him? Yes. That, and left him yes. in the studio fucking naked? Yeah, what are you going to do now, fat guy? Yeah, what are you going to fucking do now about it now? I yeah, will, not, not quite so funny, is it? I will tell you, there's one person, and I agree, the hate is there from one Southside Steve to one Larry Wax. He was not a good person. I think it showed last week. He was trying to do the whole brush it up under the table. Ah, Brett Barney had some tough years questions. Worth, really? Brett turned to him and goes, "What was the? Uh, why did you destroy the regular guys?" <laughs> yeah, he was trying to be very kumbaya. Well, he's right. the only one of you guys not working. I mean, uh, yeah. you know, Eric's got a good show. You obviously he does. Still he does. Going. Eric does. I'm still working. Thank God. Yeah. Rock 100.5, Bailey and Southside. You're a dick. Yeah, you don't. You don't get uh, my ass back. No, and I and I love it. You're right. It's called not burning bridges. And uh, you know, the one thing that he did, you gave us. For those of you that don't know, John Rocker gave me the greatest scoop ever. Uh, when everything went down with the, uh, you, I was actually on the phone with you the day you were doing the interview with the guy from Sports Illustrated, and he was riding with you. And you know, John and I can be a little rough, and I, I think it's funny when John's rough. And John's like, "Yeah, I got some nerd with me," and he's just, he's you know asking me a bunch of damn questions. This will be over. And you were dating, uh, I think Susan at the time, who had pulled you in to do a lot of a lot of really nice things, and you were doing some charity work, which you did do legit. Mm -hmm. And then. Driving back to drop this guy off, my boy just has a, a conversation, just like what he just did right there, just where you talk a like a rant. dude, and you go on a rant, and you rip, and he ripped the number seven train in New York and the people that ride it, and that dude decided to take eight hours of content, eight hours of, of John going to charity, uh, all, all everything about John's pastimes, his family, from him hunting, everything that, that was supposed to be talked about in the article, he trashes that and decides to write about a uh, five-minute rant in a car. He's a douchebag. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, thought, I thought it was crap. Uh, and then, Larry Wax are close there. Yeah, they yeah. sing Christmas cards every year. But but here's the thing. John talked to me about it. We knew about it. And then I had talked to Larry and Eric about it. We were the regular guys then. And then we got a scoop. And next thing you know, every show's calling, CNN's calling, everybody. And, of course, Larry's going that. on. And Larry's taking credit for everything. And then years down the road, not once, not twice, probably ten times he pulled the rug out from under you. And I will tell you, you have every reason to dislike, if not hate, the guy. Yeah, I mean, I'll how, say how many times? Even, but people even, don't know that. Even not in the studio, where he go out of his way when I wrote my book, trash my book, it sucks, don't buy it, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, like, I mean, my name had been mentioned in that studio in two weeks, and just out of the clear, oh yeah, it reminds me, fucking yeah, I'm sorry, my book my, my sucks, yeah, I don't play. all because I, I, I spelled, I, I intentionally misspelled his name. Instead of wax, wax. And, and a lot of people yeah, don't realize yeah, that was a that. conversation with us. <laughs> yeah, I told you I would do that. <laughs> in, I actually in, take kind of good credit in, in on intentionally that. Intentionally misspell his name with thanks, babe. So we're joking about the book, yeah. right, Brett? And we're, we're putting the credits in it. And John is going to thank the regular guys in his name. And I said, dude, you got to misspell his name. And John's like, <laughs> oh, that's John's like, you got to be kidding. Should I? And sure as shit, John misspelled But not misspell it. Smith with a Y. Wax. W H A C K S, wax. <laughs> Instead of spelling it with an H. Yeah. So, you know, and that's the kind of stuff that goes down, and people never knew the behind the scenes stuff. And that's really what this podcast is about is just going behind the scenes and setting the record straight and letting people know things that need to be known. <coughs> like John has a cold right now. And now we're all going to have colds tomorrow. That was sweet. Dude, Spit went down what, the wrong what, way. what kind of crap did you bring in the studio? Are you, are you sick? You uh, coughed you, like you, twice. You, I'm worried about you. Well, I mean, I can't give you herpes. Um, I, that, that's one of the best things you ever do. What does that mean? Not be is, able no, to. I mean, it, well, the best thing about getting herpes is one less thing to worry about. I mean, seriously. Yeah. Best thing, take my advice. Go out, get yourself some herpes. Check it off the list. I can't worry about that shit no more. Herpes. Yeah. Looks, how, how, how nice would that be? Just one yeah. like, I can't worry about that anymore. It's like chicken pox. Herpes looks badass to me. You ever see those commercials? Yeah, it's I got like, a fight, man. Yeah, like dudes, yeah, like good kayaking excuse. up a waterfall. Yeah, yeah all fun like have skydiving you into a plane. It's crazy. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize your life does get better with herpes. I mean, you now you know groups. Now you don't have to you know wonder out if you have yeah. herpes. I'm not sure. Um, I can't believe for the record, I don't have herpes. I Neither do I. It's a fucking funny story. But, but um, no comment. Can you believe? Yeah. A dirty joke. Wouldn't you know it? I'm just him. kidding. No. Brett barty has got herpes. No, I have never. You, now, the one, now I see where the beard came from. Yeah, yeah good, you got good, go. good strategy, Smart. young man. Good strategy, young <laughs> yeah, man. I, I just never kissed a girl with a cold sore. I just wouldn't do it, man. I just said I'm not doing that. 
What's up, dude? Where? We got a guest coming to grab a briefcase. Real quick. Oh. Hey, in the future, can you get your shit out of the studio <laughs> so you don't? I mean, we're trying to do a show here. We'll edit this out. We'll edit cut, this. cut. I told, cut, I told him to come in. He had to get it. Yeah. Damn. Well, do we edit that out yeah, or leave it? We'll cut it out. It's All right. Up, it's up to you. Part of me <laughs> doesn't mind leaving. Maybe, yeah, we yeah, yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would totally leave out. that. All I wouldn't right. cut it's anything. It's up to you guys. <laughs> Let's leave it raw. All All right, next next soldier, John like Mitzi has herpes. Oh, no, no, neither one. Herpes. Nobody on this show has herpes, but we have Before, seen that yeah. if you catch it, your life improves. <laughs> um, for me, you know, when you look at uh, the baseball, I, and, and I think Brett has a series of questions he wants to ask you, but me as a friend, being around with you, the one thing that always meant a lot to me, and I probably never told you this, I only think you liked four or five people, and I thought I was one of them, and it, and it felt good. She's still, she's still our little buddy. I know, but it just means that's a lot. I, that's why I feel really bad about, uh, about oops, uh, fucking up on the uh, Christmas thing this past year. I still feel bad about that. Yeah, John, uh, John was going to come on. And, uh, the, no, it was coming to the the, 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 the party there. Yeah, we uh, have a, we have a gift wrapping. The, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's our Christmas party, and no, we do just totally flaked. No, I've got no excuses. Just totally flaked. I, I invited still feel like you. Shit about that. But you know, John had a uh, John had me appear to do a roast, and and literally he told me if you don't show up, all my friends still <laughs> fucking talk about your uh, about your uh, your stand up. Was it good? Oh, uh, dude, it, yeah, did you really ride on the way to my house? Swear and to God, that, that 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 little preparation. Swear to God, on my life, that was funny as shit. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what I have to do is if I think too much about something, then I have like five things I want to say instead of one. So I like to do it right before. But the good and the bad, you were so good, but you made everybody else look really, really bad. And I hated roasting. Everybody you. else was brutal. <laughs> yeah. That no, was funny as hell, though. Really I know, funny. but it was all. And the good thing is, that's the thing I love about you is thick skin. We can say anything to each other. And he literally told me, he left me a message. He goes, if you don't show up for this, I'm never doing a fucking thing you asked me to do again. <laughs> and I looked at my wife. I go, he's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing he asked me to, I missed it. Yeah. They're like, like I, what, a month and a half later? Oh, definitely. I don't fucking show. I heard, I heard you made somebody oh, cry shit. at this. Oh, did you spill something? No, I spilled glasses. Okay. You wear glasses now? Oh, there's sunglasses. Oh, I, I, but I, I sunglasses. Need, so I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting. It's yeah. I'm, I'm definitely fighting. Can you see this? See that? <laughs> see that? If it, if it was uh, never... if, it had, if it had if it had letters on it, I couldn't see it. Or, what do you got? Or, or if it was your penis? Oh, uh, uh, see, that's not. I will tell you the first time I saw your penis. Um, <laughs> And I can say this. Remember, remember, remember exactly where you were, what time of day it was. I do. Even what you were wearing. I do. And I'm going to uh, set. Tell uh, me if you remember it. Was it next to your penis? <laughs> no, I was still wearing clothes. Okay. I was in the hallway. He was in his room. Uh, when John was in New York, uh, the, I, used to, I, I used to love to answer the door naked for room service, whomever. He does. Yeah, it, I don't think he knew it was me. He was naked. <laughs> Opens the door. But John was in New York, and what a lot of people don't realize what John went through, again, over, you know, it's some guy trying to make his stake in the world on, on Sports Illustrated. And, and honestly, saying, say if, if you heard it in context, if you heard the entire sentences, the whole paragraph, the whole eight minute conversation, of, uh, it was talking about illegal immigration, a border wall, something like that. If you heard the whole conversation, basically it was not too dissimilar from what got Donald Trump elected. Yeah. Well, minus a couple of the, you know, uh, homophobic comments, which I don't. I don't that, <laughs> I, I, I don't condone those. No. no. But every, everything else, honestly, w it was basically what got the, the, the same concepts of what got Trump elected. No, you're exactly if right. If they were in their entirety, nobody would have, you know, nobody would have, well, the. The hard left would be like you know racist homophobia. Uh, hard left would have hated you. From, the light from the middle, left, the middle to the right, been like, yeah, I get it. What's the big deal? Yeah, no, and you've you've not been shy about that, you know. And it, and it's one thing if you're voting for a left, anybody. And I know we got left and right listeners, but if you're for the left, you get to put bumper stickers on your car. If you're, you, if you're a left listener. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> These views and points <laughs> that didn't take a lot. don't necessarily. See, you, you don't you don't have any liberal fans ball game. I uh, probably you, don't. You, you don't. I, I'm not. You, you have a ponytail and you yeah come on. I on. know. So, no, that's, okay. You're not. You're not. Uh, not a fan. Fair. Truth be told, yeah. in uh, in in '76 or '77, I forget the election. I think '76. I voted for Ford and Dole in uh, in sixth grade. I was the only kid. Everybody voted for Carter, but me. Ford and Dole. Bob Dole. <laughs> Bob Dole. <laughs> And President and Jimmy Ford. Carter, Jimmy turned out turned out well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, J Jimmy Carter probably. Jimmy's won such a nice he, guy. He, he, he really. I, is. I we, would say probably. We all love you, Jimmy. Four or five times a year, Jimmy would walk me from the clubhouse to the bullpen. I would walk to the bullpen with Jimmy Carter. No, and you know what? Yeah. Every, and what, a nice guy, just a horseshit president. Yeah. Do you think he was too honest to be president? Or do yeah, you think he, was, he had a view of fantasy too, land that couldn't just, happen? Just that. Just too soft. Just too, too soft. Yeah. Just not not. Um, 
not in not uh, in touch with uh, reality enough. Yeah, I, I, I think you're. I think you make a good point. You know, and that's why everybody. I mean, Ronald Reagan. The only shirt I wore, and I wore it last week. I wore my Reagan Bush shirt, but I can get away with that. Yeah. Everybody loves Ray. 84. Yeah, baby. 1984. Yeah, come on. Uh, But no, when I saw John naked, just getting back to that, um, he was in a room, and I I go into the hotel. Now, John's not riding with the Atlanta Braves. He's in a a vehicle behind the Braves. At the park, at Shea Stadium, there are 7,000 cars that can't park, and every New York City police officer has to work because somebody's worried about snipering you. They think somebody's going to shoot you. We had bomb dogs come to the fucking clubhouse. Because of John Rocker. You think this country's not a little messed up to get that upset over somebody going, yeah, spike terror, this or that? You know what? B- baseball players, I'll tell you right now, they're the most homophobic guys in the world. They are. Not untrue. I mean, that's dead serious. I don't care who your favorite ball player is. You go in the locker room, they're, they're the biggest homophobes in the world. And it just it, it is the way it is. You grew up in that culture, you know? And, uh, you know, we won't even get into that. I know you have gay friends. You like Brett. <laughs> That's all my friends. Uh, I'll, I'll always say that. You know. <laughs> no, but you know what? I like, no, his, I like his body. But nobody cares. I mean, I'm. We're, we're, I like. We all judge the person. But when you say something, somebody jumped on it. But I went up to his room, so he's under so much security. I have to go into an elevator that only John Rocker and an entire hotel can use. I have to go to a guy that lets me in the elevator, and he's given my name as somebody that can come up. Then I come out of the elevator. There's a security guard. Then I go down the hallway. There's a security guard outside his door. And then when I knocked on the door, he answered naked. Mm. And then wait at the security guards. Yes. Hey, I just want to see my penis again. How you going? <laughs> so true. <laughs> but when you look back on all that, and I hate it, that's not what John Rocker's all about. John Rocker, I mean, you achieved something that nobody else does. You pitched in the major leagues and you pitched well. Uh, but how? What, what would you say to all of that? How has that affected what you've been through, your book writing and everything you're told, the toll it took on your family? I mean, can you? is there a summation? Is there anything you can say? Because I know that's the one thing people would love to hear from you. Uh, just, just maybe jaded as shit. Um, you know, d- definitely, uh, uh, you know, all, all the stuff you're seeing going on with Trump right now, just how the, the left is just will not fucking let up on oh, about, you know, just every day at some new subpoena, at some new investigation, at some new check his taxes, I, impeach him. I mean, I mean I get, I get another aside here, this is like a whole interview of asides and never a, a, a straight topic. Um, impeach on what grounds? Can, can anyone tell me that? What grounds? What, what, what what's your excuse? I don't know. It is always. But you he's got it. There's vile, he's vile. He's race. It's you can't. There's somebody I'm, I'm with you. I'm, a I'm with you. <laughs> I mean, give me, give me, give me a law, uh, a law that's been broken. I don't like him, so he should be impeached. I mean, that's, that's, that's not is. a reason. You know? No, I'm with you. So, yeah. anyway, all right, so back, back to um, that's what I hear. But what, what yeah. I mean, I, I, I had that, you know, personally done to me, you know, back in, in shit 2000 from to like really till I retired 05 or 06. Uh, the last I checked, I think there was like four thousand plus. Print, not not radio. St- uh, Larry Wax, go fuck yourself. Steak Shapiro, pound sand. Um, <laughs> radio, TV, whatever. There was four thousand articles written about me, all fucking negative. I mean, and saying the same half a dozen, you know, d- you know, shithead comments. Four thousand of them in, in about a three four year period of time. Mm. I mean, it's, it's similar. It's, it's of course worse for Trump because he's a much bigger threat and he's. Uh, um, most powerful man in the world, but just as a fucking baseball player that pops off about illegal immigrants and assimilation and things like that, which a lot of people are, are really starting to agree with now. Um, yeah, I mean, for four or five years, it, it made me a jaded, just belligerent fuck. I absolutely despise. I created T-shirts. I've sold quite a few. I wore uh, wore one. I'm going to tell you about. Uh, we were in uh, Jennifer and I were in a um, in D.C. last year Friday afternoon. I had a signing on Saturday. And I wore this T-shirt around D.C. the entire fucking afternoon. Can't it imagine. It says, liberals are pussies. I made, hey. them, I made them myself. Got a bunch of them. Anybody wants one? TheRealJohnRocker.com. Also, I want to say liberals <laughs> suck on it, too. Those are the um, ones I used to promote this on Instagram you, and Twitter. Did, so you've seen it. Yeah. And okay. you know what I did? I've seen it. I've seen it. But, you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. no, I saw it, but I didn't know that's what you were going to talk about. And here's what I said, because I love you, and I try to protect anytime I can uh, anybody, uh, because I know that you're just an intense dude, you know, but that's what fired you up. That's why you pitched in the major leagues. If you were a puss, you wouldn't have been able to do it. You were a guy that just went in all in, and that's what you, – you threw the ball hard. You know, and you used your body. Matter of fact, I think technique was not even a part of it. It was just pure. I had pretty good mechanics, though. Yeah, yeah he did rip his arm. 
you know, thir- 13 years out of a nice. single seat on the DL. I played 13 years without, and it was the minors too, um, one trip to the DL in 13 years. That's incredible. Yeah. And that really is. It was a, the same thing Peyton Manning had. The pitch nerve in his neck, the jack his shoulder up, had the same exact thing. Damn. Um, but and, you, and still, I have no. It's, it's still pinched. I never got it fixed. So, do you? It would take an operation to fix it. Well, I got I got the shoulder fixed. Uh, they thought they had the neck fixed, but it, it's still it's still fucking hurt. So, you think your mechanics were pretty good? Because I've, yeah, I've heard a lot bad. of people felt like you they were just been throwing. Better. They could have been better. Obviously, it would have given you more years in the uh, majors. Well, I, 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 who knows how long I could have uh, could have played if I stayed healthy? I, I, I could have probably sucked another three or four years. You know, I would say you're in great shape. I'd say you're in great shape now. I watched you, uh, John, before this interview, did twenty push ups in front of me just to get up. Pop. One hand, one hand, one hand. on my knuckles. It was sick. <laughs> no, uh, uh, hell, where was I? Do you know where I was, Brett? I'm drinking. Damn it, you're not supposed to look John, at me that John, you only had like two sips. Yeah, John doing push-ups. Uh, no, no, no. Looking no. at his penis. The people turning on him. Like, he was one of the first targets of that outrage culture, uh, you know? Like, that Roseanne has gotten out. But, like, he, you know, the, the hard left turned on him, and it was... You know, it was unnecessary. It was, and they, yeah. they, they would have want to just, just straight up browbeat you and, and just make you quit. Which they, They've been trying to make Trump quit for years. And I remember saying uh, in, in God, for the last 10, 15 years, I mean, you, you've seen it happen over and over. And what um, Eagles wide receiver, of course, that was a little much. Mm-hmm. Dropped the end bomb. Of the Riley Cooper. Uh, yeah, Riley Cooper. That's, that's the name. Um, but you've seen it happen quite a few times. And usually it's conservative just ducking for cover and you know running ass in hand to the uh you know to to the the, the nearest wilderness area where they can just you know hide and yeah. hide and seek but um it, it's always been um you know someone that's had someone to be accountable to or an employer or whether it's fans or it's whatever and oh I'd like to apologize and all you do is just try to keep your fucking job keep your paycheck keep your 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 fans on whatever to in order to make you keep your job if you're some sports commentator or something I was saying for years I hope one of these fucking days somebody comes along that has similar views and set it but has nobody to be beholden to and when they try to we need to fuck you and your fucking apology pat it right up your fucking it, ass well you and know that became Trump. And I absolutely can love it. And the reason they're so frustrated is because they've seen people like me. I, mean, I had to do the fucking public apology to make sure Holt's happy and Cass and happy all those guys. All right, when the Braves were asking you to apologize, an honest, fair question, did you feel like you needed to apologize? Uh, to keep my job, I did. Um, yeah. They came uh, to you and said, Oh, yeah. yeah. No, well, and, did and, you and, write and, it or did somebody write it? I wrote it because I'm, I'm a half decent writer. Um, no, I, mean, I would say I, so. You wrote a book. I, I wrote it. Um, but then, like Ozzy Gian, you know, same thing happened to Ozzy. I love Ozzy. I actually, I'm playing in Bo Jackson's tournament in two weeks. Ozzy, but I haven't seen Ozzy in forever. Ozzy, oh, that's great. Piece of work, man, I love Ozzy. But yeah, the you know, same thing happened when he was with uh, uh, the manager for the Marlins. Mm-hmm. And I think maybe even uh, yeah, he called so and so a faggot or something when he was with uh, the White Sox. The uh, F Ken, word that Ken, was Ken, popular in the Ken, 70s. Ken Rosenthal. Yeah, which is not um, popular now. Don't say. And of course, he had, in to, he had to do Cigarette the uh, yes. A cigarette in England is the word. Oh, uh, there you go. Okay. Um, and the whole apology tour and all that. And, but, yeah. you know, he's got bosses and the contract. And, so, and, and for years, I'm like, you know, they, 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 it's, it's such a playlist. It's such a uh, uh, just a, a playbook. Here's what happens if you, you have anything homophobic, um, say all the anti Semitic shit you want, evidently, which I don't fucking get that. We can talk about that later. Um, <laughs> racial stuff, uh, xenophobic stuff. Uh, any of that? Yeah, it's just it's load up every barrel we got, aim it right at your head until you cower enough, and, and then once we think we've beaten you down, then we're still going to kind of jump on you, you know, periodically from here to there. But if we, we well, you'll be of, referenced. But if we got our pound of flesh, you know, we'll let you go for the time being. But a month ago or a month later, we'll still reference you and kind of bring it back up. We'll keep peppering you with it just to kind of keep you in your place. And yeah. I'm like, I hope one of these fucking days somebody is not beholden to anybody. It's his own boss has no one higher than him, which there's not a whole lot of you know folks in this world that they're in that situation. Will make some of these same comments, and when they try to do that, oh, you better, you know what? Pound it straight up your ass. I ain't saying shit. <laughs> and, and he's that guy. I think that's where they're so frustrated and keep after him is like, we can't get this guy to back down. He just keeps kicking sand in our face. <laughs> no. And no matter what we do, we just we 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 can't. He just he doesn't he doesn't stun us. And I gotta tell you, I watched uh, you know, and this didn't it just doesn't have to be a political show, but we're gonna go where you wanna go. And that's and that's the that's the thing. There's no doubt you have anything to prove in major league baseball and the teams you played for. And I do want to talk about your career. Uh, but what you're referencing right now, you are looking at a guy that got elected. 
And I remember that night, and I remember watching people cry that Hillary wasn't getting elected. And yeah. I'll be honest with you, I'll call it the way I see it. I think they're – I don't know who's pure. I like to think Bush Sr. was a pretty good dude. Uh, but, the, you know, the Clintons, did they – Kill people? I don't know. Did she? Did they have an open marriage? And she's more mad at her husband for hooking up in the Oval Office because he got caught. But I don't. I think Hillary hooked up more chicks than Bill did. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> My but I do know the email she's scandal. She's a good-looking man. Email Michelle. Yeah. The, I don't know. A real that, that, rug muncher. <laughs> 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 you know, now Michelle, I tell you, that that underbite Michelle's got's hot. Yeah. It really is. But be, but be honest, if any of, if, if any of us could see what's behind the scenes, which is what this podcast is about, we would all be eating popcorn if we could watch each one. I'm going, oh my god, oh my god, and I think it would blow the minds of people. I've got an idea of what Trump did. I got an idea of what a billionaire does on a Learjet. You get blowjobs. That's what you do. And guess what? It'll the flight, make you a bad person. Yeah, the yeah. flight attendants are naked. You know what? And he may even have female. Pl- pilots and they're naked because you are a billionaire and you own a jet and if you're not married you can you're a playboy you know it's just what you do any one of you with a billion dollars might do the same thing as long as you weren't married and had kids but the guy acted like a guy so don't show me pictures or tell me what he did yeah he was a billionaire and he had a reality show and he did miss america concerts. i don't expect it but you know what nobody i think it walks in the uh in the presidency outside of carter We'll give Jimmy. We're going to give you a plug here. Is 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 truly a good man to his core and never done anything wrong. and goes to Sunday school every week. Yeah, they'll, they'll, I mean, they'll, being they'll, serious, they'll they'll, they'll they'll play that role. But yeah, I mean, but it's not you're good, true. You're good and damn well. You know, yeah, exactly. Clinton it's, it's, it's inhaled the marijuana. He didn't not, not inhale. He inhaled, but he had to say that because you guys were going to come after him. I feel sorry for you, Bill Clinton, on that one. But uh, you know, when you talk about politics and everything that you've been put through and, and and all of that, I will say that it still resonates and it never dies. And I know it never dies because look at what happened to you. And I want to talk to you about Survivor. You were on. Survivor, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you go on that ago. show, and the good thing about it is, is I think you had a little bit of a little little inch of pudge from some beers and some drinks, dude. You got your body turned into like a machine. You lost some serious weight on Survivor. Yeah, I lost twenty pounds in, uh, in a week and a half. All oh. right, talk about what it was like on Survivor because us watching when they figured out, wait, he's that ball player like that did episodes? what? They started uh, hating four. on you. I was living four. four. You were yeah. four episodes before you got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And you could have. Stayed on longer, but you didn't. Yeah, need, I, little, uh, you were the only reason I watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you a fan of that tired ass show. No, I, the only reason. See, I watched is we're gonna sue me after this rant. See, that's probably will. <laughs> all the shit I'm not supposed to say. No, you don't have to go. All right, don't talk too much about Survivor, but just tell us. Uh, but you, that's why you were eliminated. Is they they teamed up on you, finding out that you were this bad guy. Uh, well, that, that was kind of the, the, the folks that I was on my tribe with. I feel dumb talking reality TV. It's such a yeah, but silly, you did it. Thing. And did you get paid? Uh, did you get paid? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I, had not, sure I, I had nothing better to do. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, do the, but the, the, fo- the folks on, on my tribe, they, they, you know, I, I still still talk to pretty much all of them. Oh, that's um, cool. I didn't not know Not all that. of them. About three or four of them I still talk to them. Wow. Um, actually, one of them, uh, Drew Christie, uh, was at my house two weeks ago um, having, having some drinks with us. Uh, was in town business meeting or something. That's but, fantastic. Uh, but it, it, was, it, was, it was, I think I divulged something that, I was uh, cuz it was supposed to be like the dudes against the chicks on our tribe, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, I divulged something that with my um idol, I'd asked Jeremy uh, uh Collins, I'd asked his wife if she wanted it cuz we don't already talked talk about voting her off. And I told Jeremy, I'm like I'll make sure you, you, know, you take care of your wife, you take care of Julie, and I let that slip in my tribe. And they're like, "Oh, this guy backstab us." So So you're uh, the backstabber. They yeah, didn't get they, you they, out. They didn't, they didn't trust me. But the thing was, again, <laughs> Lost 19 pounds in 11 days. When they voted me, I'm like, fucking God, get the hell out of this fucking place, man. Oh, it was brutal. What and, were y'all eating? What do you eat on Survivor um, that we're not seeing on on? on no, you, our- you eat nothing. I mean, the, 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 show, the show is actually worse than it appears on TV. It really is. Are you serious? Um, Just eating we, grubs and stuff? Yeah. Didn't, yeah. You, didn't you uh, want to believe a food truck was pulling oh, up? I thought yeah, that. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. you, you watch like, ah, he said legs aren't here. That, that's got to be some behind the scenes. That has to be some behind the scenes. And I didn't think it was like behind the scenes, like buffets or anything. But I'm like, they got to be taking care of you a little bit. You, you know, got to eat something, right? We had coconuts, um, which coconut milk is actually pretty good. I've, I've become very fond of that. And, I hear it and, tastes and like semen. In, and put it in. I'm just going to throw that out there. That's you, why I won't you drink hear? it. <laughs> no, I've been told that by girls I date, and that's why I won't drink it. I'm, I've firmly said this multiple times. Well, I, multiple I, I, keep, I keep smelling semen, speaking of that. You're not farting, are you? No, I wish. <laughs> Tell you this this podcast is killing it. 
<laughs> you know what I hate right now? I I've, think... I've, I've been waiting to be on something that's, that's not FCC regulated for years. <laughs> I I, this might, I've been on a couple podcasts before a long time ago, but this, this is the, the with, with a buddy. And I even buddy, thought about so. it. I'm like, I'm going to bring my boy John on. This is going to get really raunchy. weird. It's going to yeah. get raunchy. Mom, turn off the TV. I know she watches Let us home. earn our explicit yeah. rating. Yeah, yeah Mom, get, don't look at your phone. Uh, I, I want to thank our sponsor right now. Yeah, I just want to say... Uh, we want to thank Oxygen Financial. This is where we're located. These are our studios for the Yet yeah, Come On Show. Ted Jenkins is your man. Uh, I invest my money with him. John, I, I think you should, too. Yeah, uh, talk. And uh, Ted Jenkins, OxygenFinancial.com, uh, home of the shrimp tank. So feel free to watch that, too. Um, special thanks to those guys. And, Ted, thanks for your liquor. Looking for uh, Woodford to sponsor the show, though, if you want. Thank you. Jack free, Daniels. Free, free plug now. Yeah. You know? I mean, what else would you think? You know, there is Jesse James Dupree. I thought about getting Jesse's liquor up in here, too. I haven't had him on yet. And the only reason I had Wax on, just to apologize to you, is that I was at a party that he showed up on, and I talked about the podcast, and he was only available last Wednesday, so that's what happened. He, he didn't, he didn't, get, uh, didn't get thrown out? Mm-mm. No. So, I you, left. Must, must, have been, must have been a Steak Shapiro. Can we bring this back to John drinking cum? No, John. Oh, that's, that's where we left this. Yeah. Where we left this. Like, like you got we. I know I'm on a podcast, but God, this stuff goes too far. I, I mean, damn, an occasional f bomb, but please, um, no. And all the gargle I ever swallowed. Oh my God, I don't know what that makes you. <laughs> A that sampler. was the grossest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> possibly, possibly. Can we watch one of your clips and get a feel for one John Rocker? You know what I don't know, my brother? Your middle name. Lower. Lloyd? Lower, yeah. Lower, L-O-Y. L-O-Y? It, it, it is McGrandy's name. That's awesome. John uh, Loy. That, that, that's a good old like 1930s redneck name. Uh -huh. Actually, 19 probably teens. Teens? Yeah, grand, John Loy Rocker. Oh, that's right. God knows. All right, right now God. we want to pause. Uh, we've got some uh, – I just want to get your take on what we're seeing here. I'm going to keep using take because it's great sports. Don't you hate that in sports and news world take? It's about yeah, what's your take on I this? Don't, I don't have crutch words. I just say crap. It's our shutout by the combined pitching of Glavin, Reminger, and Rocker in a one nothing Atlanta win. The final score – the Braves one run on three. Oh, so disappointing. Where Rocker. Oh, I love the tongue. The closer <laughs> continues to get it done. He's perfect in the postseason. Where's that face? <laughs> I love it. And yeah. Rocker, the closer, continues to get it done. He's perfect in the postseason. In the six games he's pitched in, he has picked up three saves. Great celebration, Poe. Take some more juice. <laughs> right, and then this is game five. Here we are in game five. How's it like pitching in this rain, man? That's gotta oh, be sucks, man. Oh, I hate it. Center field, Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones is back. Back. So he takes it. How skinny Andrew is there. I know, dude. He ain't that skinny now. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's eating a couple. And he's got he's tattoos burgers. on the back of his legs. Yeah, I noticed yeah, that. Yeah. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby comes Cox. out to greet you. Yeah. Now as Melvin says, Moore "Good job." Comes to the plate. Bobby Cox heads for the mound. What did Bobby say, John? He says, "Good uh, job." Uh, I pitched like an inning, a third inning, two thirds. Here comes the chorus. And Rocker walks off. So good. To his usual chorus of hisses and boos. Look at him looking at him. So Cox just wanted him to face Ventura. This, this, He's now over I love John right here. Against him. And now he removes him. <laughs> <laughs> Is great. <laughs> Did the Braves ever talk to you about your uh, antics, or is that just personality on the mound? Bobby didn't no, mind that. No, I didn't say shit. He didn't. Mm -mm. Never did. People don't realize you go into the locker room, and I, I was privy to that for many, many years. But Bobby just like walks around in his underwear with a cigar and his flip flops, you know, mm -hmm. and just a laid back guy. Uh, you still in touch with Bobby ever? You talk to him? Uh, I know he's been him, having those health issues. Yeah, see him at events. Uh, do, do, do you know how I. I see, I've talked to Greg McMichael Monday. No. Monday? No, Friday, and saw everybody yesterday. I, I hadn't heard from anybody how Bobby's doing. I haven't either. Uh, no, nobody knew. Uh, in the golf tournament, John and I just played in Otis Nixon's uh, golf tournament, which great calls. 
kids. All he wants kids and police to get along, and he's letting these kids at a young age meet police officers, and he's uh, giving them a chance to uh, have a shot at things like sports and education outside of uh, stealing or, or doing drugs, and uh, let the letting these kids in the inner city know that the police aren't the bad guy and building a relationship. That's what his charity is all about. But man, he had everybody out there. I know you played. Yeah, it was a good turn. A- Andrew Jones was there. Chipper Jones was there. I played with uh, with Freeman. Uh, Maurice Freeman, who played for the Braves. Marvin. Freeman. Marvin. Did I say Marvin? Close. Yeah, it's totally Damn it. him. Yeah. Same Maurice. Yeah. You know what it is? I looked at Freeman. Oh, that's probably his middle name. <laughs> it's Maurice. It's Marvin Maurice Freeman. No, when I played with Freeman, uh, I, I even said Freeman, I said, Damn it, I don't remember you. I don't know how I don't. He was on the uh, World that Series team. That very flattering. I'm uh, pretty sure he was, yeah. I, I still remember this. I was – yeah, he probably was because I, I was um, – Drafted by the Braves in 93. I didn't sign. I dicked around all summer. I was going to play at Georgia. And about a week before school started, I went to Athens, got my class schedule, my orientation, went through all that. And Sherholtz invited me up for a pre-draft or a, pre- uh, a pre-game workout, um, September 1st, something like that. I don't remember when it was. Um, and I did to uh, throw a bullpen uh, with Leo. And Marvin was throwing in the bullpen right before me. I saw wow. him being like 18. That's a big Big fucking doggy right there. Marvin um, is huge. He's like six seven, and uh, the, let me tell you, the dude can play golf, bro. Pretty good. Oh, he's pretty I, damn I, good. I've only played with Marvin. I, I, uh, me, me, him, Otis, and Marquise played last year in the alumni tournament. Uh, yeah, he's not bad. He's he's not. I mean, he was hitting the ball about two sixty two seventy, but I was also playing with a guy that was a former track star, won the gold medal in uh, in seventy six on the uh, relay team, and that would be one Harvey Glantz. And Harvey was playing from the white tees on our team. Yeah, we were we were at the back. Like we're You're supposed to be driver slash pitching wedge all day, but he's allowed to because the guy's over sixty. Yeah, they said anybody over sixty in this tournament can hit from the whites, and it was really p- pissing off Freeman because he kept hitting the ball past him and me. Oh, so he's got a little pop, huh? got a little juice. Yeah, he does. Really, he does. I was, he's, a, he's a very small man. He's a small man that can hit the ball. I'm going to say he was hitting close. To, he had, I know he hit one three hundred. Really? Yeah. Uh, I even had a couple two seventy myself, but you hit a, you hit about three. Yeah, I'm between three and three thirty. I'm about so. to say I've been with you when you. I hit might be. Three. I might be losing a step. I'm, I might. Um, I'm hitting a lot of fairways, trying to keep my swing shorter. But uh, yesterday it was the 18th hole. Last hole I played was a long drive hole. I was. I'm kind of barking already. I'm sucking eggs. Um, but I'm like, all right, got one more swing. Dial, just get it. And I mean, I, I, I might have picked my damn front foot up, mm. lay into it, had a little bit of a tailwind. I'm like, yeah, I'm. I'm not, I, might, I might get it. I might get it right there. Twenty yards short, long drive. Twenty yards and, and it was a three ten, three fifteen ball. Um, yeah, is that okay? I played in a golf tournament that you were in, uh, the one where you won the pink jacket, like two. Oh uh, yeah, the 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 uh, yeah. um, uh, the one at the Stone Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that was a fun one. Yeah, your team was like, yeah, he drove four greens. Yeah, on I drove, I drove two par fours. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, how the hell did he do that? They were they were like three ten. They were short. You know that Stone Mountain course is a yeah. short course. Were yeah. you uh, hitting from the uh, red tees, reds, or the blues? Yeah. No, were you, away. were you hitting from the blues, or was it a white? It wasn't a white. I think it was whites. Was it whites? Yeah. Because I was going to tell you, Harvey drove uh, the whites too. He drove a par four. You can do it, but you got to hit over three hundred. You're right, around three ten, three twenty. Yeah, and that's that's about where I sit, somewhere in there. Right, if I got a tailwind downhill, maybe I'll hit three thirty, three forty. What's your uh, What's your handicap right now? Mm, Twelve usually. Um, wow. My, my my long irons are good yesterday. My my uh, my driver was good. My Hundred yards in stunk. I only Short had put game one hunting. within thirty feet of the cup yesterday. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm hitting most of the greens, but they're thirty five. I'm like, really? From eighty yards, I got me closer than thirty five freaking feet in the damn cup. Yeah, so it was just yeah. We, we were we were making forty footers all day. Uh, you need awful. you need some par three work, babe. Yeah, I know. Uh, from from, from hundred yards in, I, I was not. I, I actually worked on that part of my game a good bit, um, but I was not very good at that yesterday. Well, your drives are uh, in, incredible, but uh, again, all these people that come out for the golf tournament, and yeah, I know you know a lot of these guys, a lot of these athletes, and uh, you know, I was playing with Chris Dolman, who has had cancer, and you know, former MVP, uh, or excuse me, a Hall of Famer for Minnesota Vikings, mm-hmm. you know. And I just look at these guys, and it's so. And Chris, obviously, you couldn't well, do it, but Chris can play, man. I mean, remember the a um, couple what years was it, ago, the, the golf show, uh, Puerto Rico was it Big Break, Puerto Rico? Mm. Uh, Chris I don't was remember. on that show. Chris can play. Chris is like a two. Yeah, uh, he he can play. I, I played with Chris a number of times. Uh, we we played at Bears Best, me him and um, uh, shit, brain farting DB for the Jets. Uh, he'll kill me if you. I'm not, I don't know his name. What did you do worse than Maurice Terrell Freeman? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, good God, I can see his face. I see him at the gym once a week. 
Mar- idiot. Marvin Freeman, I love you. I'm sorry for the Maurice. Um, but anyway, we uh, – Rocker can't think of the Jets guy. I'm so sorry. Um, Who? Anyway. Uh, this is electric. You know, his, 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 his numbers, his numbers this is not good radio. Uh, uh, Victor yeah. Green. Thank you. Victor, Victor Green. Green. Thank you. You Dumbass. know what it is? This, this is an unedited show. And I will tell you, you're yeah. dying to edit me, and I just don't like being edited. I, oh, I, I'm, I'm not just, dying at all. Yeah, you I, are. You, no, can't keep, no. you, can't, you can't put baby in a corner. I, Hell I no. I come from the world where people are very careful of what they say, so... I'm oh, glad that you don't want it. Hey, off the record, are, right. we, are we not doing? Are we not being careful enough? <laughs> no, you. All right, how about, how about back in the day? A couple of times when when Whack would be such a fucking dick to me, and I would just start dropping f bombs and GD on the fucking regular guy show, oh. and would just dump me and dump me and dump me, and we got a commercial break, and he's like, "Dude, we only got like ten seconds of dump. You better knock that shit off." And it's like eight thirty in the morning. You got like an hour and a half of the radio, and ten seconds of dump left. I'm like, will you stop fucking around, or we're gonna eat up all that dump? And then you're gonna be fucking screwed. Yeah. And nobody's going to kick you out. There, there is, there is. I mean, back in those days, the regular guys it got a little out of control. And I, I'll never forget the time John comes in and he's there for his book, Scars and Strikes, and he's got his uh, entourage with him, and and Larry gets naked in front of you. He's naked. Which I thought was pretty funny. I, I'm about to say, I'll, I'll tell you based on yeah, his I, I horse laugh for about a minute. Yeah, the yeah. way the way. He looks. I couldn't believe he did it. Yeah. I'll give Horrible him body. credit horse to you, Larry. Body. The fact that you'll get naked in a studio. Your and body is horse shit. Don't let everybody tell you any different stinks. But, but the guy's got balls. Yeah. <laughs> well, and hum- then, but, but, but you couldn't see them. Yeah, you couldn't see them. God, it was bad. Uh, and then we did. Uh, we God, how many roast have we done? We've had some fun on some roast. I the, caused the, you the, some the, grief the. once on a roast. Didn't in the back of the room. I said things I shouldn't have said. Probably. I apologize. But I love you. I'm enjoying this. Yeah, we, we did the, the the roast of Larry. That was fucking fun. I yeah, we did roast him. Thing. That was fun. This is just, it's such a flashback. I love talking about all this stuff. Uh, are you okay with it? Oh, I'm cool with whatever. All right, you're good? <laughs> hey, hey, keep yourself, McMahon. You're not, you're not the entertainment here. I mean, I would have let you sit closer to him. We could have no, held, we, we we held hands. John and I love. I was a jealous I was a jealous when Steve got married. Y'all are I know. two long humans. So, I, know. I mean, this it, table should be nothing. Yeah, and what was bad is I was in a situation then, too, because Larry, and I know you're still frosted, uh, but Larry uh, was going to be at the wedding because politics. That's why you were there, dude. And nah. uh, and they were so at each other's throats that I knew John would probably hit him at my wedding. And I'm like, Rocker, he, he'll be okay. Uh, you know. And I should have called you, but I just didn't. I only had a few personal friends I could invite, but I had to invite the entire morning show. It's yeah, sucks. you couldn't. That's when uh, you guys were still on the air, then, weren't you? All, yeah, we were still all, on the all, air. All, all the whole whole group. Yeah, we're still on the air, and you got to do that. It's a bit. It's a business move. It's I like you would run, have to invite Bobby Cox over me. You would. I did run to Larry uh, at a Hawks game about three years ago. How did that go? Ooh, that was entertaining. Yeah, he, he was. It was some chick. Oddly enough, um, like she had a, like real cloudy, like milky eyes. Uh, probably a couple of cataracts or something, which Sounds makes hot. sense why she was with Larry. Um, anyway, though, he was sitting. Uh, she had it was, cataracts. Yeah, you know how they get kind of milky, like glaucoma glossed over. So I imagine she couldn't really get a perspective uh, of that fucking horseshit ugly thing. I got to treat um, more. Fester. Uh, oh. Anyway, um, so he was sitting last row concourse there, and I was going to whatever, what was the little club there they had on the stadium? The Hawks Club. Special Hendo, club, Hendo, VIP Hendo, Hendo club. What? I, I was going out there, and it was like a timeout or something. And I yeah. saw his ass and spent a good 15, 20 seconds just motherfucking just dog cussing him right in front of that check. Oh, it's no. good. Oh, yeah. I mean, just yeah, every just demeaning well, phrase I come up with. And you know what? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like for in, anybody watching, it's kind of like the key banger thing. I know a lot of people say a lot of mean things on the internet. You know, everybody now is is six eight and uh, weighs two hundred fifty pounds, pure muscle, and they can write these harsh, mean things. But back in the day, you had to say them to somebody's face, and you people wouldn't say that. So now, the the, the weirdest, nerdiest, weirdest guy you can imagine now is 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 the bully. And uh, Larry did a lot of that on the show. He talked about you a lot. He used that microphone and he criticized you. And you're just, you know, you're the type of guy that goes, "All right, I'm right here. What are you gonna do?" And you know, you know what he said to me the Hawks game? Not shit. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, 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 his, his lips didn't even part. It's two different and worlds. That, and that chick is looking at me, looking at him, going, "You just gonna sit here and take this shit? Yeah. yeah, he's gonna take it. He's fucking five seven. 
Yeah. He's really going to fucking take it. Well, what, what was <laughs> Larry's main chair. problem? What was his main issue? Uh, jealousy. Oh, okay. same, same thing. Why he didn't like Steve? Jealousy. Same thing. One hundred percent jealousy. Steve's got hair. Larry does. He's a good shit. Larry does. Steve's getting laid by hot chicks. Larry, you know, he, he was married. He was married. Dodge. I thought we already did an hour and a half on Larry Wex. Yeah, yeah, we're back yeah but you know I'm what? Just saying. But you know what? I will tell you one thing you don't know about because you were in sixth grade. Is that this was? And I'm not taking a shot at you. You're Yo, that's young. fine. I'm young. But 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 but, but here's the thing: Assuming. people, anybody with John Rocker on right now that was a fan uh, that knows me. Knows the the regular guy and the, and, and knows that show, and they want to hear it. I guarantee you they want to hear it. And that's all the show about is the backstory. This is the chance for him to have a voice and say what he said. Just like Larry had a voice. You didn't come up last week. I thought you would, and you didn't when we had Larry on. And I thought that was a good thing. I, I we did we ever hit on John? Oh, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm no, we did not. Love us, be losing my touch then. Yeah, I know. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> With you now, uh, you know, we call it the cigarette break, and we like to do this. And then after that, you've got some questions. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, damn. Uh, we have a cigarette break we take. What's the average time, Brett Barney, again, for smoking a cigarette? That, uh, two if you're going fast, four if you're just kind of chilling. Two if it's raining. Yeah, two if it's raining. And it's like that rain in there. That's about yeah. one minute. That's going to be put out. <laughs> All right, so you got to smell like somebody's cooking taco meat in here. I smell it. Oh, food. they definitely are. The studio is right next to our kitchen, so we All get right, a lot of Somebody's cooking. That. All right, John, you got uh, you got a cigarette break to talk about what you need to talk about and how people can uh, get a hold of John Rocker, learn about you, uh, and uh, follow you or anything. Um, I've kind of gotten tired, kind of gotten out of the promo bullshit after the book tour. Then, of course, I had that... Uh, my five hundred one c three that I did. Uh, I was the, the the PR spokesperson for Save Homeless Veterans and did God probably two hundred interviews over several years on that. And I just kind of got burned out of doing promotional bullshit. Just kind of wanted to res- uh, recede. I uh, own a construction company now. Um, you know, just just uh, single family stuff, smaller stuff, a uh, couple million dollar deals. About all we do. That, but I do have a website, therealjohnrocker.com, dot com. If you you know just, uh, just feel so inclined to. Have the word pussies across your chest. You can buy a t-shirt that says liberals are pussies on it. Um, and if the word pussies offends you, then you can buy one that says liberals suck on it. That would be um, better. That's I got nicer. some speak English. I should, somebody just bought 20 of the speak English t-shirts last week. Uh, that, um, you know, I'll grab balls and pictures and jerseys and stuff. Uh, you know, I don't do a lot with it. Don't, don't promote it a whole lot. But that's what it is, the real John Rocker. Um, Instagram is the real John Rocker as well. My girlfriend, Jennifer Kennedy, she does most of my promo stuff. By, by the way, Jennifer is elected to be off camera. She should be on camera. Matter of fact, the three of us should leave, and we should just stare at Jennifer for a while. <laughs> Matter of fact, just put Jennifer on camera. You've never uh, you've never dated ugly, but you've never dated this pretty. Mm. Didn't Jen, 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 uh, my, 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 my talker into, uh, into, into sitting in that chair right there. I had a little brown nose and throwing you your away. Go. <laughs> Yeah, I would agree. Ball game. I would you know agree. what I mean? And thank you for that. You, you, yeah, you've never dated ugly. And from Jennifer, she says thank you too. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, you know, and and I, I would say follow John. You know, it's it's rare that people have enough guts to be outspoken and to uh, and to say how they feel. And I, I would love to go into a lot of people. Anybody that points a finger at somebody, I'd love to go into your home uh, with a microphone for 48 hours and hear how you talk and what you say. So you know, I, I hope the world stops coming after people for their opinions and understands that people have different opinions and uh if we can all grow closer together i think everybody wants uh i'm usa all the way you know what i mean i wish everybody just get on the page i'd like to hold hands and pray now you can <laughs> i'm just trying to be helpful <laughs> brett don't look at me like i don't care i care damn it. <laughs> i know you care i know i care and by the way you can go to yet and get shirts too uh you know i need to promote one of let's, your let's, talk, let's talk about the other uh, skater hat you're wearing oh yeah about that. You, you got you got your ears fucking stuck on your hat there it's ashton kutcher hat yeah <laughs> He ripped the vodka. One comment, oh, one oh. comment all day. It's a fucking zinger. Look yeah. at that guy over there. Yeah. That's the one that'll get me fired. Yeah. You know? No, you're never fired because I appreciate it. But damn it, I'm I taking think your I'm mic. I'm abusing that. Yeah. <laughs> taking your mic away, Mr. Maynard, off off mic, off camera. Uh, no, uh, yetcomeon.com. Yeah, you know what I'm doing? I actually felt like I right, go a little more flat brim and take it to the side uh-huh. just so I don't look like uh, you know the old guy. I don't want. I mean, uh, everybody on our morning show tries to act like I'm this Mid- old guy. Midlife, mid- midlife yeah. crisis kind of thing. I'm not in a I midlife crisis. I just sort of you are. Am I? Yeah. It just kind of looks cool. But <laughs> well, see, most yeah, guys his on. age, midlife crisis would like grow the hair long, put but but he's already had that. So yeah. how, how, how long? How long is the uh, is the uh, the, the tail been there? How long has it been there? Uh, been there since 1995. Well, that's a that's a long time yeah. to have long hair. I, I've been well, blow drying and uh, right. flat ironing. Thought, idea, I can uh, promo opportunity. 
promo. Uh, quarter century of the mullet next year. Got to do something. Got to do something. Got to have some kind of celebration. Got to have maybe like a year long kind of thing. Quarter century of the tail. Good God, I yeah. didn't even think of that. That's yeah. Why didn't you yeah. think of that? Brett? Pay me, pay me some. I didn't uh, yeah. know you've had. I'm, I'm got your ideas. fucking PR guy. Hire me. Rocker's got <laughs> yeah. ideas. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, that's a hell of a promo idea. The, 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 the tails, the tails turn at 25. The tails. And there's 25. your fucking slogan. John Rocker. There's your slogan right John there. Rocker. The tails turn at 25. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a tell. Tell the tell the tell. Right. 25. Thank you for that. Uh, I want to finish with one more personal story, and then I want to hear your questions. We were doing afternoon, Southside and Roads on 96 Rock, and I had John come in, and we had this uh, guy named Kevin Green, who was actually the producer on the movie you were in, The Greenskeeper, where John Rocker I was is K- the KG star. Backer. I was thinking KG the linebacker. Yeah. I, I, I know you're the linebacker. And by the way, John Rocker, outside of Al Ruggiero and myself, were the only ones that got paid to be in this movie. They, they paid me $10,000 for that, for that, for that fucking hunger shit. Yeah. <laughs> Really did too. I, I think I was down there for like six hours too. Yeah, and here's the funny thing: they gave me ten also, and I had to give it back. What? I had to, I invested. And you, and you, I invested in another project for ten uh, grand. Okay, so, so I gave my ten back. So I looked at you. it, but I got paid, yeah. same as you. And I brought John into this movie. God bless him. But uh, but at the time. Kevin Green was our producer on the afternoon show. So we wrapped him in bubble wrap. We were trying to protect him. So we let different people do different things to him. So John comes in there, and I'm like, John, you can throw a ball at Kevin as hard as you want in the hallway of 96 Rock in bubble wrap. And if you hit him, you hit him. He had a catcher's mask on wrapped in bubble wrap. John missed him by about four inches. The ball hits the wall and gets stuck halfway in the sheetrock. <laughs> Coolest damn thing yeah, that, I've that, ever that, that seen. I signed the hole in the wall, and then he signed it, and we left the ball in the wall. It was the <laughs> greatest was thing. The ball was halfway in the wall, which was a great story. And the other thing, the greenskeeper, we keep referencing. If you haven't gotten the movie, the greenskeeper, go get it. It's a great movie. You're like everybody else. <laughs> but uh, John calls me up, and he's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> he just starts yelling at me. He goes, I, he goes. I'm wearing some plaster Paris mask for oh, four dude, that, hours, that, that and there's sucks. a chick. I'm breathing through a fucking straw, and there's some girl with bad breath right in my face, and I'm, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> like, because we had dude, to make that makeup was. I literally it took him like four hours with that shit on there. We had to put plaster all over John oh, because God. John's was the greenskeeper, and he was going to explode and land in the water. Not only do we have a mask on him, but we had to put him in the nastiest water in the world oh, no. to film. We laid him in some creek, oh, some man. lake. Yeah. You did a lot for the green. I earned paper. my money, God damn it. You earned the money. You earned it. Now I turn to Brett Barney, who always has questions, some uncomfortable, but now you have the floor oh, to ask John, John Rocker, our guest on the Yet Come On Show, anything you want. All right, we'll get into, to, since he's the uh, McMahon of the show, uh, we'll do some little Karnak. Uh, answer your first question, <laughs> 11 and a half inches. I'll be honest with you, it's like a small baseball bat. <laughs> I ain't gonna give away. You get like you know the first ten thousand fans. There's showers and growers. <laughs> Rocker is a shower. <laughs> he always wore the towel on his shoulder in the locker room, and other people were covered up like they they were scared to death. No, what was funny? I used to do this all the time. Um, but yeah, the baseball clubhouse is a vulgar fucking place to be. Oh, we, yeah. we, none of us give a shit. We're farting, no. dipping, spitting dip on the fucking floor and stuff. No, it was a nice clubhouse right. too. I mean, it's a big league clubhouse. I was about to say it was a nice clubhouse for y'all to dip in. And uh, and guys, well, they would just spit just straight on the floor sometimes, not all the time. And um, if, if you didn't have the right level of seniority, you might get your ass kicked or something like that. Um, but yeah, I would I would uh, close a game, would walk, would wade through the twenty or so reporters in front of my locker. Turn around, drop my tile, do my whole interview buck naked. And then just see if you could maintain eye contact. <laughs> I did that probably at least once or twice a month. Yeah, That's good. awesome. Yeah, and there'd be a couple of chicks standing there. They're like, yeah. um, can, you, can you tell me about baseball? <laughs> yeah, nice question. Wait, what? I mean, baseball? Can, can you talk about it? <laughs> my eyes are up here. Hand, right? hand, hand on your hips. Yeah. yeah. So, what was it like to. A few times throw, a the, throw the. Throw the ball right now, just laugh and laugh. <laughs> it's funny. All those fucking nerds. <laughs> a lot of nerds. A lot of nerds. A lot of nerds. Yeah, fucking different colored socks and shit. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I'm not south side, so I'm not going to sit here and try and jerk you off for 50 minutes. But I did think uh, I did think it would be I did, I did think it would be kind of fun to do something like this. Special. Actually, probably not going to be fun at all. Who knows? Let's just see how. Yeah, this is probably a miserable time. Here, we'll, we'll just see how this I'm goes. Gonna, I'm so come with her and piss I found in your this whiskey. old one in my closet, and I figured, you know, in I the could, front of the back of your closet. You know, hey, it still fits though. Yeah, I dude, I got this in fifth grade. 
Don't, be, don't be fucking dating me. Turn around. Show us the back. We want to see the back. Yeah. Oh. Ball game, baby. Ball game. Yeah, we'll have to sign that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, he needs to sign it. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's I've, I've had this for a while. I want to know, after watching your video clips, who you think wears it better? Right now, I'd have to say you. Yeah, damn right I do. The, 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 the pit stains and everything. Oh, it's dude, I've been wearing two nicely. shirts underneath these yeah, lights just, just for almost an hour. Ball. Well, you didn't outside. tell us. You could have You could have done your little strip tease earlier I was going to do it earlier yeah, I thought that show, was the intro. And then we cut the music too quick. Yeah, oh, I'd, I'm sorry. I'd made a whole plan. You got a yeah, right. come on shirt under that, you son of a bitch? I oh, know. I got a lot of chest hair and shit. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. So let's not it's pull that a sweater on, So it's braided, so it isn't. Yeah. Well, you go a little lower for the braided. All right. I was curious, though. You've been through single A, double A, triple A, but which battery hurts the most when it hits you? Oh, I thought you were talking about minor legs. No, yeah, yeah. batteries, baby. Pounds, baby, pounds. That was, um, that was me. No, the the uh, the A's. They they they're small. They they can travel the fastest. Oh, the triple A's then the little yeah, guys. Yeah, the little ones. Yeah, they, they, no they, get some, they get some speed behind those. Those will leave a bigger bruise, obviously. I, I mean, but I, I know, think, but but the small ones they could they could break the skin. They can do some serious damage. Hmm. Anybody would, anybody ever hit you? No. I will tell you a good story, though. I'm pitching in the Yankee Stadium. Um, check the runner at second. I see Andrew freaking the fuck out in center field, hands up in the air, running in. I'm like, the hell is going on? Step off. He goes up to the umpire. Umpire's like, rip, motions all of us off the field. Go in the dugout. These dickheads uh, in the outfield were throwing board darts at Andrew Jones in center field. Oh, my God. That, that's, that's what shitheads a lot of oh those fuckers God. are up there. Those bleacher creature dickheads that get like a uh, 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 can of tuna fucking get in free kind of bullshit. You know, bring a, a can of beans for the homeless and yeah, you get in free to the damn Yankee game. Uh, those, uh, they'll sit and literally were throwing board darts at Andrew in center field. Unbelievable. They were sticking around his fucking feet. Yeah. And, I, and, and I'm the asshole for calling them out being shitheads. Yeah, really? I, do you know, yeah, I, 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 I never heard that story, but I will tell you, uh, when I was with John in New York, because I had your ear, it was like, I, I remember a few people coming up to me, uh, Buck Lanford with Channel 5 came up, sports Damn guy, Buck. and Buck's a great guy, and Buck's trying to talk to me, I said, Buck, if there's anybody I'll talk to, it's you, but I gotta, I gotta talk to John first. I was saying no to CNN, I was saying no to Fox, everybody's coming trying to get intel, because I'm friends with him, and I'm, I'm staying up, you know, I'm going to visit him, we're going out at night. John gave me tickets 20 rows back at Shea. I'm sitting there behind home plate, great seats, and I literally saw people like with batteries talking amongst themselves and walking five steps up, ten steps up to throw them. I saw it firsthand. I got to tell you, it was the most disturbing thing in the world, man. Well, and, and, and we were told, too, or at least the families were told, or players told, and uh, families, uh, the play, and really not even playoffs for the whole game. Uh, wife, parents, whatever, don't wear any brave stuff behind home plate. They'll see it and fucking dump drinks on you. Oh, yeah. Spit on you. Oh, yeah. Because I'm wearing different clothes than you. And basically, if you're a fan of a team, you're cheering for fucking clothes. That's what you're doing. I like, I like these clothes better than those clothes. You're cheering for fucking clothes. What was so funny? I was playing for the Indians. Love my ass in Cleveland. I mean, standing uh, every time I come up, but standing up. That's a blue I get, I get town, traded dude. and go to Texas. <laughs> yes. I, mean, I come back in April, they booed me. I'm wearing different clothes. You booing me? Six months ago, standing ovation. Now you're booing me. I'm wearing different clothes. Do you know that you Idiots. and I? Do you know that you and I were on the road? Uh, that I came to see you when you were playing for Cleveland, and uh, we were in Boston, and you were playing. And I'd never been to to seen that. I mean, it's the Green Monster and the whole bit. Again, great seats from John. And when John was playing for Cleveland, we were there September. 9th, two thousand one, mm-hmm. yep. and uh, and I ended up. We left on two on on ten, and then of course we know what happened on the eleventh of uh, of and September. We, we, we flew, flew from there to KC. Yeah, you flew to Kansas City. I flew back to Atlanta, and then they, you find out that these terrorists, these pieces of crap, were actually in the Boston area, staying at airport hotels. And I was at an airport hotel. To this day, I'm like, was I in the same hotel with you? You could have stopped it. You could have changed history. I know, dude. <laughs> Come I on, know. Steve. I was like, what the hell? But I do remember you in Cleveland, and I went out and partied with you. And I got to tell you, you think all these people are hating John Rocker. I went into the bars with him in Atlanta. I went in the bars with him in Cleveland, in Boston, and I saw nothing but people walking up to you, and you weren't even agreeing with them. They were saying, dude, you're right. What you said was the truth, man. Love you, love you. You got nothing but love in public. People don't know it's, that. It's, 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 it's been like that. And again, I mean, it was no one's going to say something to you in person, especially when you're 6'5", 250 something, um, are going to be agreeers. I mean, there's only been a handful of times, and it's been 
you're a piece of shit, and then they fucking run away. Yeah, um, and people have a right to that opinion. If you literally offended somebody and they're upset with you, yeah. But that's that's and, and I, there's probably just as many. They're like, you know, what a dick. But there's one of the balls come up and say, dude, you're. A fucking I just couldn't believe how many people from New York walk up to you and say that, and I was even shocked. I'm like. Yeah, you know what the hell? That's just weird. I would look at you and go, "Oh my god, these people are all being I mean, to, nice." To break to it you. down, liberals hate me, conservatives like me, and I've always said you can tell probably just as much about someone by who their enemies are as who their friends are. I don't. If you're a liberal, I don't want you to fucking like me because I've done something wrong. I, I don't agree <laughs> with anything you agree with, and so if you like me, evidently I haven't pushed the right fucking buttons and and and, and made you understand what a truly piece of shit you are. If you're a liberal right now, one one person to yeah, love you're John. Horse shit. No, it's okay. It's okay. Love Kill John. yourself. Love John. Kill yourself John. and help solve the traffic yeah. problem in Atlanta. <laughs> so uh, you're not even... Uh, that's my next T-shirt. <laughs> Liberal. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, Kill yourself. Oh, my God. Back. Any idea? Take Once it. again, the views of this looking, looking for, looking for don't investors. Don't represent the show. <laughs> looking for investors. God. You're not easily offended. You're, you're, you're not cut that. I thought you didn't uh, want to be edited. So no, I, I don't want to be edited. I'm just saying, cut by stop. Don't edit it. Let it roll. Good I'm guy. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing ball game. We'll turn a little red down here. Yeah, dude. Just like kill yourself. <laughs> I just like, so oh bad about God. that. Well, most, most of them hate themselves anyway. I actually watched. You no, know they do. I watched an interview that uh, Vice did with you last night. That was actually a pretty and good interview. I was interview. surprised because they one of the few that actually uh, and, and they're they're and, pretty left leaning. Oh, they yeah. do hit pieces from well, time to time, yeah. but they were fair to you. I, I'll tell you right now. Let me interrupt you because you're talking fast on that. Sure, give, give, no, 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 no. Don't worry. I want to make sure everybody's clear. Give give credit. What were you watching and what did they say about John Maynard? I guess it was from like five years ago, and it was a piece on, that, yeah. by Vice, who's like a internet, and they're on HBO as well. Uh, they also have their own channel, Viceland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I watch Viceland. Have you watched The Dark Side of the Ring, mm-hmm. watch it. It's dark side of wrestling's pretty good. Oh, really? Yeah. But um, yeah, just a girl, you know, was throwing yeah. the f- ball with you on the field and really getting to know you. And yeah, they were really nice folks. They really were. Yeah. Yeah, it was That's a good nice. interview. He t- a positive interview. Mm-hmm. What else you got? Uh, you don't seem like you get offended too easily, so I'm just gonna rock and roll on some of these. Well, you say something bad about me? I don't care. The uh, the grounds for the Braves' new yeah. park is called the Battery. Do you think that's the tip of the cap to you? Mm, never thought about that. I'm, I'm going to ask. Though. I'm going to ask. It could be. I'm, I'm going to ask. Like if you would have trademarked oh, that, should, that could have been your nickname. Damn it! Why, why don't you endorse Duracell? I missed that one. Hmm. I'm going I'm I'm to I'm I'm check oh, that out. Has any I came of, up with a good question. Yeah, reach yeah. Out I'm to pretty Duracell. proud of myself. Has anybody, has any, ever ready? <laughs> has anybody ever in the history of baseball had things thrown at them the, other than oh, you? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I just told you, Andrew's board darts. Well, no, the board yeah. darts, but that was in reference to you, I feel like. I'm talking no. about outside of that. No, that, that, was, that was a common thing. Yeah. People threw things. Oh, yeah. I mean, all the time. Really? Oh, we're, we're playing in. Uh, I don't think I'm aware of that. No, you get gotta, this. We're playing in. Um, in Oakland, when I went to Texas, remember Carl Everett? He's yeah. playing right field. Somebody threw a cell phone and it hit him. Hit him in the back with a cell phone. Those little flip phones. Hit him with it. Did it work? <laughs> uh, I guess. Should have opened it up and called Mom. Dude, that, that right there. Um, How mad I mean, do you have to get? Shea, Shea, Fenway, Philly, Bro- Oakland may be the worst, though. Is it? Oh, and there's only like 10,000 fans there. They, they, they may be the most degenerate fans in the entire <laughs> league. All right, that, yeah, that's a good brutal. point. I, I will tell you, I've spent and time. A, just a Dump. I, God, went, dump. I, I went to the Falcons game to uh, watch the Falcons play the Eagles, and I sit in the 700 section, and that was a beer pouring over the head experience. There's because I wore Falcons. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. but, but, but Philly's Philly's pretty brutal as well. But, yeah. God bless him. You're wearing the wrong clothes. <laughs> Don't wear that, boy. But besides Stupid. being physically assaulted, like. There seemed to be a part of you that reveled in that. Like, it looked like a professional wrestler that's, like, you know, playing well, the that's, heel. Well, that's why I wore my, my liberal pussy shirt in, in D.C. for an entire afternoon. Just, I yeah. just, just, just straight I fucked people. What, like, I know what, you want to say something. Go ahead and do it. What happened to you? <laughs> awesome. So you were in Washington, D.C., and you wore your own shirt uh-huh. about liberals. What what was the reaction? Um, had what? Help generate, probably, yeah, what, 10, 10 pictures? Mm-hmm. People asked for pictures probably 10 times. and didn't know who I was. They just liked the shirt. Yeah. Um, did have uh, Did you tell big, them afterwards uh, though? No, uh, no just, uh, not even we, where we, 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 we not even shirt, where they could get, get it. Uh, oh, I, I, would, I would plug the website. Yeah, if you want, yeah, we have uh, a website. Um, I did have a heavy set lesbian woman kind of pop off. Um, I made some comment about how fat her ass was, and she kept walking. Um, and then some uh, some little little slight built man as he was jogging said something, and of course he kept running. Maybe maybe two negative comments all day. Um, but I would say at least 10, 12, uh, I'd love a picture with that shirt. 
Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> 10 or 12 people in the entire city. I wouldn't say you won it over, but that's pretty fun. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they, everyone walked in and said, can I get a picture with your shirt, sir? Are you sure that, that, that woman... ever happened to you? Are you sure that woman was a lesbian, or are you just saying that? Um, she had a nice high and tight working. <laughs> nice high and tight. Uh-huh. Do you have a problem with that? And, and I think a marine tattoo on her right yeah. biceps. Yeah, come on. A real rug muncher. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. Bring it back. <laughs> Bringing it back. Do you th- do you like lipstick lesbians? Oh, everybody does. Okay. Yeah, Let's we check. watch porn, dude. Come on. <laughs> do you watch porn, Brett Barney? <laughs> I mean, Pervert. I'm a guy. Like somebody better me. Like I'm somebody sure better me. Everybody watches porn. I mean, every everybody right. watches porn. It's all right. Just, I don't give a shit. Here's yeah. an infomercial for Brett Barney. He watches so much porn. It's like somebody better me couldn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, can I hit you with some rapid fire? Sure, go ahead. It's just yes or no right here. No. All right. Do you have an arm like a rocket? Yes. I actually currently no. Do you have a cock like a Burmese python? Yeah. Do you have a mind like a scientist? No. And this one you can actually answer not yes or no. What's your biggest flaw? A temper. Okay, so you <laughs> actually... I, I would agree a, with that. Hang ass. on, hang on. So you actually are not Kenny Powers. Because Kenny Powers, he had an arm go. like a rocket, a cock like a Burmese python, a mind like a scientist, and his biggest flaw is that he cared too much. You, could, <laughs> you to me, are more like Nuke Lelouch, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, want, you want to hear a piece of... Uh, I want to hear about A piece this. of fantastic trivia. Everybody asks me this. What? Are you Kenny Powers? I got one way better than that. I was born in Bullock County, Statesboro, Georgia Hospital in 1974. Um, uh, What's his name? Ray McBride uh, was born in the Bullock County D- Hospital. Danny. It's all good. Danny, Danny. Danny McBride. Danny. Yeah. Robert is Actually, his. Actually, uh, I, I play with a Ray McBride. That's where right, it comes right. from. Um, yeah, Danny McBride. Right. Anyway, <laughs> was born in was born in the Bullock County Hospital, Statesboro, Georgia, in '76. We were born in the same fucking hospital. All right, that's and, and not like like Bellevue in New York, like like Bullock County, Statesboro, Georgia, little shit hospital that in the seventies there was like ten kids a year born there. Yeah, yeah, and only the nine, and only nine survived. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is the re- crazy. The, re- the rest of them caught their rickets. <laughs> they just didn't make it. The hospital just didn't have all the equipment it needed. <laughs> you had to have a normal birth. If you didn't have normal birth, you were not gonna make it. <laughs> Um, hey, no, I was just curious. Wait, he's breached. Every, everybody always says you are like yeah, the living I'm, Kenny Powers. Um, probably so. Uh, um, we we heard that a lot. Uh, I tried to get a couple. Heard, of, yeah, I, I tried to get a cameo on there one time, and just didn't work out. There's things that uh, I I definitely think that John Rocker was the the I don't know the core of Kenny Powers. I I, I think there's no doubt the writers. Will Ferrell used to do an impression of you, yeah. right? Yes. And Will Ferrell totally. was the producer yeah. of that show. Yeah, yeah. totally. I think that Ashley that, Schaefer. But you know what? They don't say it because then John would have been paid, which would yeah. have been nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should have yeah, been show show ran forever, uh, and that's Family that's ran. one reason I'm so glad. I mean, being being friends, personal friends with John all these years, you know, and being great friends with John, and I love him. Uh, he's always been there for me. I'll be the first to tell you. But you are colorful. You do have a huge temper, and it's gotten you in a lot of trouble. But you're a real dude, and uh, and I knew putting you on. I don't think I'll ever have a guest in uh, like you. Well, Ever. thank you, buddy. And, uh, I, and that, I mean that, that, that could be a bad thing. It could, it could be. be a bad thing. It could be. But you know your opinions and stuff. I, I will tell you one more story before you do your rapid fire. John and I were at an LA Fitness in Buckhead, and John was working out with his strength trainer, and uh, she's still playing ball. Frank Foltz. Play up, good old Frank yeah, Foltz. Love, love Frankie. And and there's all these women. You know, they're they're they're. they're can you really work I've, out if I've you never, wear? I've makeup? never agreed with a story, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to tell I, you. I think you're embellishing. I don't think I'm embellishing. So there's these girls. They're all on the bikes. And they're riding, and like four or five, because it's Buckhead, they have on makeup, and they're just like, <laughs> stay on foundation. And, and Steve kept tying a shoe right next to this is the bike seat. He kept tying a shoe. <laughs> so, so I'm I'm trying to work my way in with John on the weights. He's got like three forty fives no, on the other side. Not much. Uh, I was like, I'll do a baseball, a pitching specific workout. Yeah, yeah. So pitchers he, don't bench, do they? This we one did. does. This one don't does. Yeah. And it was during one of the times where you, I think you were taking a ton of steroids. You were really looking I never good. took them in the offseason. I didn't want to get too big. Yeah, it didn't too big. But, yeah. you know. I looked a natural in the offseason. I actually gave John a shot in the ass, not once, but maybe twice. I'm like, I got you. That but, uh. Either. <laughs> no. Wait, with a needle or with I, I did. Uh, I did. Yeah. I, did. Well, I, I, only, I, only, I only do my own shots. I need, or he does I, his own. I did one. Um, I, I was dragging ass in Texas. It's, you know, it's balls hot out there. Um. Needed to be 12, go back to the doctor's office uh, in, the, in the training room. And doctor's loaded up for me. He's getting around like, just give me that thing. Give me it. I take the needle out of the doctor's hand and just give it to myself. 
He's like, yeah, you've done this before, haven't you? And I'm like, yeah, what do you think? I hand it back to him. Yeah. yeah. Do you not think? I mean, <laughs> took, look at this. Took, took the needle out of the doctor's hand and gave it myself. First off, I get angry. Yeah, I'm good. I get angry real easy. I keep breaking out on this cheek. What do you think is going on? Never broke out. Never broke out. Thank God you didn't get that. But we're in the uh, L.A. Fitness, and all these women are cycling, and John takes the weights, and I've never heard anybody scream. It was like, yeah. hey, John, 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 shit. Like three women That's totally made up. Three women got off their bicycles and one went and complained to management. And I was like, and your trainer's like, John, you're gonna have to keep it quiet. We're upset. Yeah, I don't people think that them. happened. I'm like, and I'm looking, why are we doing strict training in an, in an LA fitness in Bucket? Why are we here? Because I mean, they wore you were scaring them to death, I, throwing I, I, your I, weights around. No, nah, I, I think you. I was right. there. I, was I there. won't drop a weight, but I'm not like a grunter or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Ends it with shit. <laughs> so you did get an up. actual word in there? I got shit. <laughs> I'm like, all right, he's up. I was got the bench with Woo! Woo! We had to do that. What else you got? So uh, you're a pretty big guy. Thank you. And I've heard stories in, in the... In, in what capacity? Uh, in all capacities, apparently. Okay. Awesome. But uh, I've heard a lot of stories about you getting in a few mixes here and there in a couple bars. And I was curious, if you were in a fight... Who would win between you and Herschel Walker? Oh, I, I could never hit Herschel. No, no, no but uh, you're in a fight. In a, no, in I the could ring. never hit Herschel. Herschel would. Okay, I, fine. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fight back. I'll dial back Jose Canseco. Oh, I, I actually did an appearance with Jose like two years ago. He's still jacked as shit. Um, you're not kind too of, small I, I, yourself. You have to fight. No, he's, a lot, he's probably 430 pounds on me. Um, yeah, well. I, I, you just have to just fight cheap, sucker punch him. Throat punch and shit like Grab that. Grab by the balls, some yeah, knee shot. Find them. And so if you didn't um, throw a punch, you can him. find. I got to tell you, John would never hit Herschel Walker. Nobody, no loves, way. Nobody no, loves the Georgia Bulldogs dude, you more get than John. Out of Georgia, if you get I have better. never met Herschel Walker. Oh my god! I'm, I'm playing in Bo Jackson's <laughs> tournament in Chicago in two weeks. I hang out with Bo twice a year. I've never so much as met Herschel. You, oh my god! I'll have drinks with Bo Jackson in two weeks. Herschel's about twice your size and probably Herschel. about twenty years older, yeah, if not more. I, I met him. Herschel's, yeah. Super Bowl. How have I yeah. never met the guy? Yeah, we met I, him. I, down I, at I bought Super a jersey. Bowl. I got a signed jersey, <laughs> but I've never met the guy. Extremely nice guy. Huge Trump supporter. I know. He's uh, phenomenal. He was on the, the Trump uh, Athletic Council or something like that. Yeah, I don't speak on that, Hannity. Well, he yeah. played six months he played ago for Trump. Oh, that's right. He did New yeah, Jersey Generals. And that horrible USFL uh, back in the day. Don't you wish Herschel would have gone straight oh, in, in, into the NFL? But you know what? Trump was smart. He gave him a piece of the team, put him on the – the guy got paid. Here's the good news. Herschel got paid. Yeah. But you're right. He played for Trump. Um, I was curious about this. Right now, I don't know how hard you could throw. Do you think you'd strike out Tim Tebow? No, I couldn't. Tim Tebow's playing like shit, dude. Let's go. He's got no chance, man. It's just zero chance. Well, what do you think about him playing? I mean – I don't know if you've seen it. He's hit his first home run of the year, I think, a few days ago. And I thought he made like, made like is he in AAA or where's he at? I think he's AAA for AAA. the Mets now. That's when shit starts getting – well, shit starts getting serious in AA. I thought he made the AA All-Star team last year, which just baffled the hell out of me. Yeah. Um, I mean, all you got to do is one batter. That's it. No, nah, I couldn't get anybody out. How hard can you throw right now? If I got in shape. No, like I'm talking like we walk outside in the parking oh, lot. 75 tops. Oh, nice. That makes me feel good. No. Uh, 75 is still fast as hell. Yeah. Still fast as fuck. Uh, <laughs> I throw fast as fuck. I got drunk and got clocked in at 70 like a year or so yeah. ago. Is that possible? I don't know those juice drinking fair guns, what? probably. Oh, yeah, more than likely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Dude, Ooh. the guns are all juice now. Well, what There's was, no way people are. Nolan Ryan was definitely throwing harder than people. I don't think Steve's buying that. Just watch how the batteries are. Who, who was the fat guy that played for LA back in my day? Valenzuela? Fernando. Fernando. Oh, Frankie Valenzuela. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he had some nasty shit. He did. That, 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 that funky delivery he had. <laughs> Weird dude, man. But yeah, I was like, how's he throwing heat? Look at him. Hey, if uh, if you played today, what song would you come out of the bullpen to? Still Twisted Sister. Really? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't change anything? Hell no, I'm old school. Which Twisted Sister song? I want to rock. I want to rock. Rocker. <laughs> uh, t- tell us real quick, uh, sprinting onto the mound, because you see you know, different things. What? Why did you sprint on the mound? I, w- I want to ask you another one on top of that. How fast or did you ever time yourself running bullpen to mound? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, think, I think some folks did. It was like six seconds or something. You hauled ass, dude. Yeah. Early in the year, late in the year, I'm like, I got to do this shit again. Really? Uh, what, did I, you I, I uh, like, like, like a like a professional wrestler going really? 
Put on a show for the fans. Come on, look at wave your little hat. Whose um, idea? Whose idea was that? Did you come up with that yourself, or did somebody I, tell it you? Was, it was an accident. Um, you know, so obviously when you when when you you want to be a big league ball player, it's not something that you're like, eh, big league ball player when you're like twenty. I mean, you, you decide from like a very young age, 13, 14 years old. So that was me. This had about thirteen. I want to be a big league ball player. And my theory was, or my, my philosophy was, that at thirteen, I've got to do something every day to try to get the big leagues. Whether it was working out, or stretching, or reading a book, or playing a game, or you know something, reading a magazine article, or something to just, in some way, shape, or form, you know, small baby steps to get me to the big leagues. So um, you know, of course, signed by Georgia, skip. Right by Atlanta, uh, start playing minor league ball. The minor leagues is fucking tough. It's it's, it's more mentally tough than anything because you just you know you never know. I mean, you've never been around. Can I ask you something about the draft? You went 18th round, correct? Right. Why'd you decide to go into the major leagues? That's pretty late. John Schultz was a hell of a salesman. Okay. Um, You keep going. I was curious. And I I had some shoulder surgery the year before, and uh, and and did not. Anyway, that's another story. But anyway, so back to the original uh, comment there. so, you know, minor leagues, again, you're, you know, one one outing, I'm seven innings, three hits, one run, ten strikeouts. Next out, I don't, I don't get out of the second. I mean, you're just, and you you know, one day you got all figured out, fuck, and this and that, and I'll be in the big leagues this time next year. And then, you you know, you the next outing, you walk six, strike out one, give up, you know, nine runs. And you're like, fuck, I might get, you know, be released by the end of the fucking month. Um, and it's just, it's just a, a mental mind fuck. Um, but, you know, you gradually start – Making progress and learning and, and, and building on the uh, the good and, and, and overcoming the bad and all that. And but there's still always that doubt in the back of your mind, you know, how much better are big league guys than me? Can I ever get there, stay there, play there, all that? And as you get higher up the level, uh, you know, you'll play like in, in, in A ball uh, or high A ball. And there'll be guys will come down from the big leagues to do like a rehab stint. And I remember Corey Snyder, uh, he was a, an Indians guy, mm-hmm. came down, blown hammy something. And he did a couple of them, like, oh, of course, I'm a big league guy. And everybody went, oh, I want to say I want to do this against Corey Snyder. And if you struck out Corey Snyder, you're like, oh, I mean, you puff your chest up for a while. I was struck out big league. And me and the guy's not fucking ready to play. That's why he punched him out, yeah. you know, give him 30 at bats in the big leagues. And then, you, then you face him. Yeah, he'd fucking rake your ass. Um, so anyway, so you, you start always trying to measure yourself, you know, how good am I? Um, and you're, you're, you know, comparing yourself against, you know, how, how good would I do against the hitters in the big leagues? You're also comparing yourself against the other pitchers you're competing with. You know, am I better than that guy? Is he better than me? Well, you know, we're going to get there. Who's going to get there faster? It's always just that. And you're all 20 years old. You're pumped full of testosterone, and it's just a constant, you know, whose dick is bigger kind of thing. And then it's a constant. Apparently, you it's know, yours. Uh, it's, <laughs> Steve, 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 Steve didn't see all of them though. There were some big ones. Yeah, um, I mean, I might have uh, missed a Kevin Millwood. Um, and then uh, <laughs> he just he just quick named somebody. That was hey, great. that was praise. Yeah. That was good. And then um, and uh, you know, and it's just it's just uh, I mean, it's it's just a, a constant back and forth battle. So um, I know I'm, I'm getting really long with the story, but I end up. Uh, Finishing my double A season, and how I started that season at A ball as a, a fucking mop up guy. Um, I, I, had, I had pitched an A ball the year before with the Durham Bulls. I led the organization in strikeouts, had like a three and a half ERA, was like 11 and eight. I mean, had a pretty good year. They start me in Durham the next year as a, as a long man, a mop up. I, I wouldn't pitch unless we're winning big or losing big. Nuclear and I'm loose. like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I led the organization in strikeouts. You used to be back there in the fucking pen. Are you shitting me? And I was very pissed by that. And then, really, of, of no real reason, they moved me up to Double A in like mid May, put me in the rotation. I'm like, all right, great. I don't really deserve this. I wasn't pitching that well in, in Durham, but you'll take it. Yeah, I'm like, thanks, fine. Because I hated the manager there. Um, and so by the end of the year, I had like a five ERA and was like 500. I mean, and, and you know, wasn't didn't light the world on fire. But they sent me to the Arizona Fall League, which is like it's it's the top top like five six prospects from every organization play on six teams out there. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a, I think it's like 70% of the Arizona Fall League players will be in the big leagues the following year at some point in time. And, I mean, just woke the fuck up. I had like a two-and-a-half ERA, was like six and one, um, just dealt. And uh, they sent me to Puerto Rico. And they said, clearly, no room in the starting rotation. Um, but there's a lefty spot in the bullpen. We're going to send you to Puerto Rico and, and, and let you start throwing out of the pen. So I'm like, absolutely, I'll, you know. Whatever, fucking wash shoes, just get me to the big leagues. So you moved to so you moved to Puerto Rico. <laughs> um, yes, I lived in Puerto Rico for like three or four months. Did and, they speak English? Um, <laughs> I spoke Spanish. I'm in their country. I oh, speak Spanish, shit. man. 
That's see, um, that's, see, that's proper respect. That's assimilation. Should you speak English? Yeah, he's not a I hypocrite. Yeah, speak he's English. not a hypocrite. I spoke Spanish. Should I say know. on the back. <clears throat> Border and and and, and ring, expanding the brand for you, Puerto Rico, my guess. So anyway, so I've been down a couple of days, and my manager Tom Gamboa, which Tom was in the movie. What's that movie with Brad Pitt? Oh um, uh, shit. <laughs> Ocean's Eleven? Moneyball? Uh, we still Money got to narrow it down. Um, I got it. it. Moneyball. Yeah, we're, talk, we're talking baseball. Uh, Fight kidding, club. We're talking baseball here. Yeah, Good club. God. Um, we're not talking about this Mr. Mr. Anyway, Smith. Anyway, so Tom was in that movie. and Tom, Tom was a manager down there. Hell of a guy. And uh, and so um, he comes to me in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, the dugout. Um, and uh, No, excuse me. Um, my pitcher coach walks to the bullpen and goes, um, Pudge Rodriguez is due up, uh, is due up fourth. If we get to him, you got him. And I'm like, oh fuck. I and mean, this, this is Pudge is probably a five time All Star, two maybe a two time batting champion at this point. And I'm like, holy shit. Okay. I'm like, I guess I'm getting ready to find out all these doubts. This is like the first legit big league I'm, I'm, I've ever fucking faced. You know, has the last ten years been worth it? Am I, am I good enough to fucking play know? in the majors? Yeah. And then I'm, I'm getting ready to fucking find out in about five minutes. After ten years of fucking wondering about this shit, and. uh First guy gets on base, and I'm like, well, unless they ground with double play, you know, I'm, I'm in. Two pitches later, he's still second. I'm like, yep, all right, well, this is getting ready to happen. So I fucking start chunking, and um, I think it was uh, second and third and two outs, and Gamby comes out, throws his left hand up. He's like, come in, fucking face pudge, and just without even thinking, I just took off and I fucking dart to the mound. So you sprinted and, uh, out there, and that's where it all started. Just, just fired up to get out, and let's, let's fucking let's get, let's get after it. How did you pitch to him? Uh, struck him out uh, one two slider down and in swinging. Wow! Do you think I, other guys? I, I think uh, if I can remember correctly. And then when did you get yeah. the call to uh, the Atlanta Braves? Uh, well, of course, went to spring training, um, and then the same shit they did with Acuna last year. They're trying to kind of dick with you on your eligibility for uh, arbitration reasons. Um, they left me in AAA until like the third till uh, May fourth. Yeah, but Acuna uh, got paid this year. Yeah, he did. Which was they their their philosophy back when I was uh, there was they didn't pay. The what do you think guys. of the Aussie Albies? Uh, I think the Braves got a hell of a deal. On hell that. yeah, they and did. Aussie, like I'm like, what are you thinking, dude? What are you thinking? I mean, it's great for him now because he he wouldn't have been making you know a lot he of money seem in, in relative terms um, for the next two or three years. But in in six in, in six years, seven years, when free, I mean, cost he'd be a fifteen eighteen million dollar a year guy. Wow. Um, yeah, you know, assuming he stays healthy. Well, Acuna on the, on the back end, you look at it. If he was like Bryce Harper or somebody, he could be on three hundred million. Yeah. How did it or work, a Trout guy? Or any yeah, of that. but but again, those guys. I think when, when like Albie's deal was done, he would only missed have missed like one year of, of free agency. Um, so he'll be a free agent in year either seven or eight versus six. So yeah, they get two years of options for one, one. Right. They do. Okay. Yeah. How many years with the Atlanta Braves? <clears throat> uh, the organization ten. Wow. Yeah, uh, four and a half. In the and then uh, Cleveland? Yeah, it was Cleveland for uh, almost a year, Texas for a couple, and then where careers go to die, the Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay Rays. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> showed up, showed up, broke down, and got completely broke down. I was down there, and that was it. You wow. still have your Rays jersey? No. I, I still have a Rays have travel any, bag, though. You still have any of your jerseys? Mm-hmm. Yep, got my Braves one. Uh, I got Braves Cleveland, Texas. Got, got those jerseys. I've got a Rocker jersey. Dude, I'm he wearing this, mine, so. Well, I know, but I've got Mine's one. a t-shirt jersey. I bought a Galleons. That's how old this thing That's is. That's nice. Mine's one he wore. <laughs> I gave you a game used? You gave me a game used. I'm pretty sure it's game that's used. That's some love right there. That's, that's some love. love. And then you wrote a nice little message to it. Like, thanks for always being longer. there, you shithead or something. <laughs> I'm like, John, I'm going to frame it. <laughs> Do you have to write that on there? <laughs> but I love you. Now, okay. you, you you wrote that you appreciated me and loved me or something like that. It was a good message. Can I fire off, like, three last random questions? It's up to Rocker. Rocker, is that cool with you? Yeah, man, go. Can I call you JR, by the way? Whatever. I wrote that, that down earlier. <laughs> now you're pushing call it. you JR? <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll know what you're doing. All right, well. cool. I'm going to call you Jay. Can I call you BB? Hey, yeah, yeah. Actually, B, B, I usually B. I get called BB. How about, how about, how about, how about B Square? Yeah, I've been nice. called B Square. I've been called yeah. S Square. The only problem is my dad was Bill Barney. His brothers are Bob and Bruce Barney. And, you know, my brother's oh, Blake Barney. And I'm Brett Barney. It's a B Not a whole lot through. of creativity yeah. in that. <laughs> Our dog was Bo Barney. Bob, Brett, Bill. Yeah. What's up, Bubba? Everybody gotta have B name in this family. Yeah, I already know. Uh, I already know my kids. But name, you know, so you, ne- you never, you never play uh, cards with somebody that's got two first names. Yeah, I would never play Barney. cards with me either. I'm a. I'll probably right. be drunk and fuck two. your hand up. Um, all right, what's the uh, mindset of a closer? Because I, I, I'm, a, I've been around baseball my whole life. Like I, since I was three years old, I started playing, and when I was 13 years old, I started umpiring. 
From umpiring, I've done everything that's not professional or college. I've done perfect game. I've had guys throwing 99 in my face, scouts all around me. Stuff. Yeah, who gives a shit? But uh, you threw harder than that. Um, I've been around baseball my whole life, but the mindset of a closer has to be different than anybody else on the team. Um, I can only speak for myself. Uh, I always want to have a very aggressive mindset. Um, and, and, and try to get work done as quick as possible. I mean, I mean, the starters really will seriously um, set guys, at least the good ones, well, the Maddoxes and the Smoltzes and those guys, that they'll set guys up in the first inning for a more crucial situation than the fifth. I mean, I, I'm not going to throw you this pitch now, my split, whatever, because I want to use it in the fifth inning. So in, in case you come up with, with you know people on base, whatever. Uh, closer, I want to get you out in three pitches or less if I can, uh, which I didn't do very often because I was a strikeout pitcher. Um <laughs> But it was it was fill the plate up with strikes, first pitch strikes. Just be aggressive, pound the zone, um, and and try to have some intimidation factor. You know, walk around, bug your chest up a little bit. Um, you know, most hitter, well, some hitters would be like, you know, fucking clown. You really think you, you scare me? Um, I have here, here so actually, I was with Tory Hunter at uh, Emmett Smith's event a couple weeks ago, and Tory's like that run you did. He's like, what the fuck, dude? He's like, he's like, we would all be like, this guy's fucking nuts. This guy's fucking nuts. <laughs> and, uh, with, with Which him, is him, good. With him and Junior Spider, like, yeah, you, 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 were, you, were a little, you were a little fucking. Little, That's little what little I've always been told. Like, you have to be off, yeah. off a little bit. And, and, and a lot of them are, but then a lot of them are you know, Rivera. They're just surgical. They're very calm. They're very, you know, mild mannered. Trevor Hoffman's like, well, Trevor, with Trevor was he was a fucking hard ass. What about Kimbrel or Wolves? Um, Woe's really laid back. Uh, I, I, I think I don't. And I love Woe to death, and he was a hell of a fucking pitcher. Was um, Woodlers at the golf tournament? I didn't see him. Well, he was invited. I saw his he name. He was on invited, the list, but he, he doesn't ever play. Um, yeah, he, I don't. I don't. He just doesn't play golf. Him or Limke. Um, but uh, yeah, but so I, I don't think there's there's one right, you know, philosophy. That was just mine. I was just just you know really aggressive. Uh, wanted to be a little bit intimidating, um, and it wasn't an act. That was just honestly the way I fucking felt. Um, but you know, it, you know, it worked for me. Um, I, I think it is kind of hard if that's your stick and that's what you think, how you think you need to be to pitch well. It's hard to keep that level of energy and intensity up for 180 games, 190 games a year. And not, not that you're really doing that in spring training, but you know certainly with the playoffs, it's not hard to get up for. But that was real for you. It wasn't an act. No, so it, it was easier. It wasn't. Um, you know, now the it had a little bit of effect too. Um, but it's, 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 it's tough to. Uh, you know, game 103 in Kansas City on a Sunday afternoon. It's tough to, you know, really, really generate. The, if that if that's what you need to pitch well is that kind of intensity, sometimes it's hard to, you know, for a well, know, it's not, game, it's not, game 162 against the Mets, it's winner go home. That's pretty easy to fucking, you know, get I mean, it's get not like, for. it's not a starter. It's not like, hey, I pitched today. I'm good for like four or five days. I mean, look, yeah, look you, at the Braves you, that last night. I don't know if you watched it all. Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Um, I, I, I mean, two board. outs. One one more out and then they lose the game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, their 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 pen's been struggling. Um, but uh, um, but yeah, it's it's, it's tough to keep. You know, and like you said, it's, it's not. I mean, because you can get dry hump. You can like mentally, you know, get yeah. into the game and then, you know, somebody hits a grand slam and now you're up six runs. You're like, ah, sit back down. It's like, Mrr. so you're, you're deflated. But then you got to be you got to be mentally, you know, as you're driving to the ballpark, mentally ready the next day. I mean, you got to be mentally ready. Yeah, you're every day about 150 ready. games a year. There's only about yep. eight or ten games a year. Like you know, I, I know I'm throwing three days in a row. I'm not paying. I'm not playing today. Um, there's only about 10, 10 of those games a year. I actually want to ask this one to both you guys because I don't know this about you yet. Um, it's a two part question. What was your first car, and what do you drive now? Uh, my first car, like I said earlier, was a, a crappy S10 Blazer. I you said it was an IROC. Well, that, that was well, that, that too. I had, I, had, I, had, I had a bunch of cars. I had a bunch of cars. Um, no, it was, it was a crappy little S10 Blazer. When um, you were 16. Yeah, that was my first car that had, like, the dash was all jacked up on it and um, had chrome on, like, the bottom, like, door panel. It's awful. And it had these little, little shitty tires that literally, if you got in wet grass with any incline, your tires would just spin. And it was a two wheel drive. I, mean, you, I, I would literally get <laughs> stuck going up like a 20 degree incline in wet grass. It was such a shit I know car. The, I know dude. the truck. It was such a shit car. Um, now I've, just, I've got a, 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 a jacked up Dodge with a Hemi, uh, a Rocky Ridge. The guys at Rocky Ridge uh, juiced it up for me. 
Nice. What about you, Southside? Uh, first car was a hand-me-down from my father, uh, 1970 Dodge Dart. Uh, it <laughs> nice. Was, <laughs> it had more rust than paint, and they used to call me Duke because I'd take it off-road, and we'd okay. do the dirt roads. And I, That's where I learned to drive and like letting the back end get out. But I had a 318 in it that wouldn't quit. Yeah, my, come on. Yeah, come on. My, <laughs> my brother fixed it up, so I started off a Mopar man. And uh, then uh, now I drive a, uh, a Titan. I have a Nissan Titan from Regal Nissan. Got to plug those boys, 2.0. Uh, and uh, they suit mine up, too. It's, uh, it's, on the weekends, he drives a minivan. Yeah, there you go. Drives a uh, town and country station wagon with now, wood grain paneling. Not, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so outside of my... Soon to be an airport van, <laughs> you know. But my Titan's diesel, and it's got a six-foot bed. I'm not driving no wimpy-ass truck. Uh, I would ask you, what's the best car you ever totaled? Because I know you and I totaled cars. Mine was a Nissan 280Z, 1983, red T-tops, and I hit a brick mailbox doing about 70. Well, what I ever totaled was that vet. The vet? Yeah. Matter of fact, when John totaled his vet, I got a chance to go out there and see that. And uh, that was a crazy accident. Mm-hmm. We're lucky to have you on that one. You went up under a flatbed. Flatbed truck. Yeah, ran flatbed right truck. the freaking hood. Yeah. T- yeah, the, um, the, uh, cr- the, the trash control. I guess the, the, the sensor where it tells you it was on or off uh, wasn't working, and so I didn't know the traction control was off. When when they're off, it's oh, you know, the, 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 the rear tiles are, are slit there for being in the snow. Um, I just I was going about 75, 80 miles an hour on 400 and just went to change lane. That thing started fishtail and went Oof. right up under a flatbed. Dude, it was brutal. I mean, we're like and, and, that, that, and that, that car was free because I was doing some advertising. Tom for, Jumper. For Tom Jumper Chevrolet, um, and they had ordered me a Z06. It hadn't come in yet. I'd already done like two or three commercials. Like, hey, you know, just, 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 just take one of the cars off a lot when you use cars. Just take it. You know, we feel kind of bad. It's been six weeks now, and you've done. So two. you just took a car. I just just animated, and, and uh, I called Mike Rains up. Maybe a God, week later, I haven't heard that like, before. Mike, uh, well, well, that'll probably your car there. And he's like, well, just drive it on back. I'm like, no, no, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't drive this thing anywhere. They want you to go ahead and sit down a tow truck. <laughs> yeah, it, it was definitely bad. My other one, I, uh, I, I totaled on Baker Street and uh, Peachtree, uh, hit the pole. Matter of fact, you can still see the scratches on the pole because I got locked into it. But I totaled our brand new '96 Rock uh, Denali. Just, just. Bro. Killed it. Killed it. Probably came out of your paycheck. Yeah. Well, actually, it didn't come out of my paycheck, but had it not been for that, and I hit that, dude. I hit it so hard that the light, because I hit a light pole, the light came down three seconds after the accident and shattered the windshield. Oh, shit. So so you think it's over, and my 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 collarbone's broken, and my wrist is broken. You got to see this And then all of a sudden, the glass comes in my face. I'm like, anything else going to happen to me right now? All right, broken windshields. Hey. You guys got to see this. Well, y'all, while you're looking this up, can I ask you what's the nicest car you've ever owned, in your opinion? Oh, um, I, th- I think I know. I want to hear what he says. I love that. Uh, well, I've had a, a, a Ferrari 360. That was nice. Um, I only had that for like a year, though. Um, I love that damn Dodge Viper. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it was going to be the Viper. Thing. That thing was I so freaking fast. Dude, he had the Viper, and I was like, no, John, I'm not riding with you. Is it, <laughs> was it blue with it's the like, white stripes? No, no, it was it was the second Red. year after they changed the the, no, it was the colors. Black. It was black and oh, gray. No, after they changed that body style. God, it, it that, the, that the viper, the style. torque on those things are insane. Six hundred fifty horses, zero to sixty like three point eight seconds. And I forget who you were letting drive it at the time, but I, I was behind them, and they just hit it, you know, just a little bit, and they spun it because you could spin that thing. In yeah, a the, the, easy. The, the setup wasn't good. The uh, the front was too heavy. The rear was too light. And all and, that uh, power, that, that, thing would, that thing would get loose pretty quick. Now, the Viper, you had to definitely turn that thing. What was turn, your, in, turn into the skid. All right, what was check your this best out. car? My right. best car was a Shelby. I had a uh, 2011 uh, uh, Mustang Shelby. Ooh, nice. Yeah. With that, with that. Crack, crack windshields? Let me see. Dude, I'm riding down 75 in my truck. Oh. About six months ago, I'm in the left lane going okay. 75, 80 miles an hour. Can you send see that? that to me, Steve. I'll put it on the video. There you go. I was going to ask that. that. And you know the, uh, the 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 plastic lane dividers that, that stand up, like yeah. the, the sticks there? Um, the black rubber, I guess, braces or whatever the hell those things go into, they're maybe like you know a foot long or whatever, and you know, they weigh four or five pounds. I'm riding along. I just see something black flying up in the air, maybe 30 feet high. I'm assuming it had to be like styrofoam or something because it was just tossing through the air. I'm like, yeah. I can't go anywhere. It's, it's four o'clock. It's you know, traffic's moving pretty good, but I mean, there's no no you know no no lateral movement there. Um, and, and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm once I'm looking at it, next time I just hear boom. I mean, just right through my windshield, lands in my hit me in the shoulder, lands in my lap. Oh my as, God. as I'm running eighty down seventy five south. You're like ah yeah seriously what's in my lap? Dude, I, I'm on and I'm going to Johns Creek. I drove home like that. Drove all the way home. You're like 20, damn it. twenty miles. 
looking looking just through a hole in my windshield. Felt nice. Glass though, probably everywhere. Breeze. Yeah, I got to turn the AC off. Save a little gas. Um, <laughs> but seriously, I mean, I mean, I mean, who does that happen to? Does that happen to anybody? Never, uh, never had heard of that. All right, well, I, I can't even sue anybody. I'm glad you're okay. But that could have killed anybody. It would have killed a normal man, not you. Well, I mean, you know. You got a plastic thing in your thing, life. It hit me in the head, and there was a dent in that thing. Yeah, <laughs> day. Yeah. I will tell, uh, it, it, just to close this up, Brett, are you are you a Georgia fan? You're, I'm, I'm, you're I, Alabama. I went to Alabama. <laughs> you know? <laughs> this mess. Roll Tide, baby. I wasn't going to mention Uh-oh. that to John. <laughs> I live in Athens, so there by, you go. By the way, that was your chance just to not cause problems on the show, but now we know you Wait, graduated before, from Alabama. Before you close it, can I ask one oh, quick question? Oh, go that's, ahead. That's, that's one easy. last one. What? Do you guys agree that toilet paper is the greatest invention ever? <laughs> well, yeah. I did outside, not see that one. Coming. Outside of my hand, a rock or a pine cone, yeah. No, like seriously, think about well, it. You like, ain't Indian. Like two seconds, like toilet paper, that changed the game. I'll give you that, I guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, I just kind of like took it for granted, I reckon. Right, I'm so wrecked him, damn near killed him. But right. you won't um, later today. Maynard. You'll be like, wow, mm, thank you. Right. Right. From, from now on, when he goes, I got one more question. Yeah, cut. that's where that's where we know that. <laughs> uh, I just want to bring up uh, one last story when you and I were driving to Athens and I ran that out of gas. Great. Rocker and I are going to Athens, and he. I'm telling him, I'm like, I've, I've told her the story. Yeah, we're running on fumes, and I'm like, John, no, your your gas gauge was screwed, and you're like. Is that set of core tape? We're like, I'm pretty sure it's wrong. So I'm not really sure how much. I'm like, dude, I'm sure it's fine. Just, just keep. We're late. Okay, just keep going. Just keep like, going. go. So we're barreling down 316. Sure as shit. Some <laughs> undisclosed amount of gas we have left. Yeah. So we pull over to the side of the road. We're out of gas. Now John's wearing his jeans, and it's not, this was back in the, the style. Our leather black jackets, our jeans, our collared shirts, and, and really cool loafers. Well, John gets out of the uh, car. Nice grease right lightning. A, right a puddle. And he steps in mud. So fucking mad, dude. He gets pissed. Oh, yeah. He steps in mud. He's like, God! <laughs> He's wiping it. So I'm like, what do I I'm do? I'm white on Steve's floor mats. Yeah, I'm like, damn it, John. Get in the grass. Wipe it on the grass. <laughs> Not in my car. And I literally call 911. Whatever the damn what? police department yeah. is on the yeah. way to Georgia. And, and Winder or wherever and the Winder. hell we were at. And I'm like, hey. And I'm like, this is Southside Steve. And I hear it go, hey, I got Southside Steve. <laughs> That's amazing. And it, which is great. And why I had the balls enough to do that. I'm like, hey. And I said, and I'm traveling right now with John Rocker. And I hear, he's got John Rocker. <laughs> It's like, all right, focus. It was a slow day in Bethlehem, it, Georgia. It was. <laughs> God dang, Bethlehem. We ain't never had these kind of calls on 911. And then I'm like, I'm like, lying. And I'm like, John has to speak at the beginning of the Georgia game. We need assistance. She goes, we'll have a car right out there for you. I said, we've run out of gas. I was hoping they'd bring gas with them. Well, we get there, and the guy wants to take pictures with us. Then two more patrol cars show up, and they want to take pictures. And then I'm like, well, somebody's got to go get gas. And they go, we'll let you go. And John, the guy's a traffic cop, so he's got all his equipment in the passenger seat, so John has to get in the back of the police car. <laughs> John, go, buy, buy gas can, buy gas, come back. John does not fit well in the back of my car. So I'm on the side of the road trying to get mud out of my car while John wiped it on my floor mat. Watching I rock. Really I, I know, I'm lying. That. John's got his knees up in his face in the back of a police car. And he's like, God oh, <laughs> So, it was body. Like, I'm sure I'm just keep driving. Yeah. So, so then he goes to the gas station, comes back with a gas can. We fill it up, but it's only enough to get us so far. So then we have to hit another gas station. John's just watching his watch. Like, my God, the Georgia Georgia Tech game is going to start. And, so, then, and, then, and then Tech handed, handed Georgia's ass to it that day. And I had to hear this guy talk shit to me the whole fucking way. Oh, on. was that the overtime one with oh, the onside kick that went up? In the air? That was so like, like three, three, four years ago. No, 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 no. This, no, was, this is like 05. Maybe. This is like, yeah, 04, 05. This is regular time and tech just dominated. I was a sophomore in high school. And I was, I was in my box at Sanford Stadium. With, and you're, you're, I think you're, you're the only tech fan in the entire box. I was the only just tech talking fan. Talking shit, just, and, yeah, fending everybody. Like, I, yeah, that's my friend. That's my buddy. Yeah. I was like, hey, he came with me. I already let out a couple rambling ratting from Georgia Tech. And then he was like, "You got to shut up." <laughs> and John gets mad, and you got to remember this: you kicked your, you kicked the side of your suite and put a hole in the. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure I did. <laughs> There's that temper. Uh-huh. And then there, John's like, "We're out of here." <laughs> I'm like, I guess we are. <laughs> now that you kicked your suite, let's leave. <laughs> 
Yeah. Good, good, good times. That, good was, times. that was fun. That was, uh, that was I probably fun. got 50 more stories, but uh, I just want to thank you for coming on the Yet Come On Show. Special thanks to Oxygen Financial, Ted Jenkins. Go to oxygenfinancial.com. Uh, Brett Barney, I appreciate your questions, all but the last one about toilet paper, you weird son of a bitch. I heard that today, and I was like, wow. He got everyone really- Seinfeld, I think. Yeah. We don't do the Seinfeld, Seinfeld stuff. Seinfeld. John Rocker, in closing, anything you want to say, you hunk of hotness? Uh, I love men with long hair. Love it, love it. You want to you want to lex me? I'm 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 not shitting you though. Um, the tail turns 25 next year, all over town. All right, the tail. I, that's a thing. Tail turns 25. I don't know if it's for here, if it's for you and Bailey. Somewhere, somewhere. Um, that, that's 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 an around town promo. We can have you on again sometime. Absolutely, buddy. Very yeah, soon. I always love coming with you. Special thanks, my friend. Always controversial. Always honest, Mr. John Loy Rocker. Yeah, come on. It's the Yeah, Come On Show.